whether that man paid my student loans or not, they was gonna get paid. Mm. Whether he bought her that Range Rover or not, she was gonna get a new car, mm. brand new car. Mm. We're not depending on nobody. And that's the point that a lot of people be missing. Me and Drea were working, getting money, whatever from and doing this, but we weren't going shopping. We're just now starting to shop and get the things that we want because now we're living debt free was giving us money we was paying off our bills paying our credit card bills we say this all the time but that's but guess mm -hmm. what we can reel you in with these clips like you were saying but it's more to learn right we i buy this stuff now because guess what these shoes gonna last me four years Facts. versus me buying the stuff from fashion nova i used to buy and i gotta buy it every two weeks so now I'm, you I'm buying this stuff me. because that's it's fact. quality i want quality things so if you're not a quality that's trying to bring some quality stuff. I don't want it. Because guess what? If you're a quality, you're going to be around as long as these are Louis shoes. And for longer. a long mother time. <laughs>
for real. I think it's more of like an energy and aura thing. Mm. And then you, no, seriously, I swear to God, I feel like you have to have it. <laughs> My bad. You got to have like. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. You know, sometimes like when somebody say bullshit, you be like, you just out of you. That's like, not worry. bullshit because there's plenty of girls that look good and they not bad bitches. It's like if you look good, if you're aesthetically pleasing, mm-hmm. you then know, you just nice look good. titties, 25 inch waist, 40 inch ass, pretty toes, all that good shit. Damn, but then why you, I need? <sighs> but then you dumb, or your energy, like when people around you, they don't feel good, they don't like to be around you. You're mm-hmm. not a bad bitch. A bad bitch is, you have to have everything. You gotta be smart. Mm-hmm beautiful Mm -hmm. on your shit making money Mm -hmm. like there's no such thing as a broke baddie you can't be broke and bad it don't make no sense okay that's why i said it's an aura thing it's uh an energy thing i like that i like that (laughs) because it's a lot of girls that look good as fuck but they not bad bitches like they don't beat the bad bitch standard they're Mm -hmm. not part of the genre Mm -hmm. if you will (laughs) okay no i just feel like yo you be first of all my podcast is a little different i'm Uh gonna tell y'all why right Sometimes I get a little deep, you know what I'm saying? I uh, talk about, like, the things you went through, the trauma and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. We're going to go there. So I'm just letting y'all know, be prepared for the roller coaster. Okay. okay. We're going to have some fun, though, but I like to, like, get into that. So That's don't judge cool. me, okay? Don't, don't judge me, all right? You about to crying. My last interview cried. Oh. We said, are you, you going to cry? Oh, no, no, I ain't going to cry. Oh. Nah, I mean, shit, we might cry together, shit. You cry, I cry, we cry together. I mean, I'm just... <laughs> Come on. We fucking fucking kumbaya. Kumbaya. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Listen, I'm with About you, bro. You, I feel moment. like every episode you be like, I'm, I'm an old head. Like that's how I feel. Like, yeah, I'm, so I'm, a, I'm auntie. Yeah. I don't know why people get so mad when people call them auntie. I love it. People get so mad at us when we be calling ourselves auntie. They why? be like, y'all are not auntie. Y'all are my nieces and my nephews. I love it. I'm auntie for real. So I'm not an aunt because where I'm from, an auntie and an aunt is like the. Y'all watch Raising Canaan? Yeah, I you, do. I don't. You watch the last one? Mm-hmm. The guy that, that 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 he put on the bus, the crackhead, yeah. that's unk. That's unk. Yeah. That's unk. Oh, I mean, that's okay. unk where I'm from too. But I think you know, times have times changed. Times have changed. We so I feel like, imagine, like in the, the young, because the young kids think we old. Right. They really do. When like you, I'm 31. I'm 33. I'm 31. Somebody that's like 22 be like, she out. But well, not even that. We not even that. It's just when you're like. 30 and up, and then you got some game and you be putting them on game, they be like, oh, you know, my auntie, she be putting me on game. They like, do. No, not we the be putting auntie. them on game. I'm auntie. I really feel like I'm more like the big cousin. No, I'm definitely auntie. Giving big cousin. Not, not, not big auntie. Cuz. Not auntie. some haters. All oh, right. Well. I got the the mac and cheese arms and everything. <laughs> Look at it. Shake. Big mama. Uh-huh. Your arms. Yo, so like speaking of that, right, I said I, said I got poor minds, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All the guys like, oh, my God, tell me, like, yo, yo, what's up? Like, yo, what's good? Do y'all be honest with me? Do y'all be in like secret competition with each other, like the uh, the love or the niggas, something like that? Like if somebody do, for example, somebody bought you a a, um, a Range Rover, mm-hmm. right? Do you be like, oh nah, these niggas got to step up? Don't come at me unless you are gonna buy me a Range Rover, like type shit like that. Hell no! You asking me or you asking both of y'all? Me? Yeah, no, like he's like, I mean, are we in competition? Like when she got her Range Rover? Not for re- not real yeah, hating no. shit though. No, like, yeah, no, like shit. when she got her Range Rover. Nigga, I'm in the passenger seat. Pull up. We outside, nigga. The fuck? We in the rain. And, like, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's a win. Like, mm-hmm. I. this is the thing, though. I feel like a lot of people, they have friends, they in competition. If you in competition with your friend, that's not your real friend. But no, that's not true. It is it true. Is, there though. is no competition here. This is my sister. Mm. Like it's it not. Is, I'll say, oh, and, and you, and you, be, yeah. But you want, but this is what y'all want, though. Y'all, y'all want us to be like. Now I gotta feel like, nah. We honestly look for two different things in, when it comes to men. Okay. Like I'm. Not, don't get me wrong. Would I accept a Range Rover? Hell yeah. But just because she got a, a Range Rover, I'm not all of a sudden gonna be asking niggas for Range Rovers now. That's that's whack. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it can be friendly competition in friendships, though. Like you don't always have to be deemed a hater because you're like. But it's just not though. But I feel like what's the competition for though? Like you should if y'all are friends, shouldn't y'all be working together? For sure. So let's let's separate this for Lex, okay. right? Okay. I'm not saying y'all should have competition within each other, right? Mm-hmm. We already passed that. Y'all right, done. right. You had made a statement about I feel like friends shouldn't be competing with each other. I'm mm-hmm. talking about that. I feel like it could be friendly competition in friendship. I think the friendly you know what we do have a competition when we sing karaoke. Oh yeah, I love yeah. It. That's when it gets. What's your favorite song? Serious. Sometimes I be killing her, and she don't want to admit it. But Never that. What's your favorite song? Never Let's settle that. it right now. Fuck it. I don't know. We did Return of the Mac, and it was really good. It yesterday. was, and Return I killed Mac. her. 
Damn. Damn. That's crazy. That's a little stretch. Kill is stretch. Yeah. I let you shine is what I did. You don't never got to let me shine. Mm. So let's do a song y'all never did then. Fuck it. What? I don't... You know what? You're putting us on the spot. Yeah, I why not? I to warm up my vocals. Me, me, me. What song? We, uh, I feel like y'all might have did Tevin Campbell. For everybody does that, right? Can we talk? Yeah, of course. You know what? I don't we think haven't. We, ever, we actually Ooh. never sung that on the show. Let's go. Mm-mm, we haven't. Let's go. Right now, I'm going to be the judge. I'm going to be. Okay. Come on, I know I y'all see. know it. I mean, we do, but I'm not feeling real Tevin-ish today. You don't like Tevin? I mean, that's a cool song, but I feel like... That's a great song. It's a great song, but I feel like we have ran it to the ground. That's a fact. You know what? Yeah, that's let's a fact. say, they have a let's say this. Song that's a fact. That's a let's fact. do this. My second drink, then we'll come back to it. I gotta get. I gotta we gotta take up shots later. because this shit is like drink. What? Oh, you got me. For, this is a drink. Like, no, it is, is Lee. You this ain't do like, your. Like, this, you ain't okay. your big one today. Watch. <laughs> finish your shit. Tell me that when you finish your drink. She, my, watch while she finishes. By the time I finish, my stomach gonna be fat. <laughs> like, gonna be mad. Right. All this damn juice. All she right. trying to add on the calories. Facts. Like yo, pour me a shot, man. Give they me do. right, dog. All right, so he said, "Pour him a shot." Oh, you want a shot? Bartender. Ooh, baby, I am not a bartender anymore. <laughs> I no, I passed. I pull, I pull. retired. I, I mean, it's okay. I, I ret- used to be a bartender. I have, I have retired. Okay. I got you, dog. Fuck it. We uh-uh. both used to be bartenders. That's for us. That's for him. Oh, I'm about, about to shot. say. No, I'm good. I'm I usually good. don't pour people shots, but I pour your shot. Yeah. Who this will be? That ain't for us. Yeah. Yeah. Not, take your time. You don't have to. You don't have to take All right. Maybe we can split this. No, no, no. Cause this is a big shot. No, you don't have to take the whole thing. We know who Dean used to bartend. <laughs> oh my god, they gonna keep fucking with me. I ain't scared of y'all, motherfucker. That's wild. You don't understand. What you know about that? <laughs> I ain't scared of y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> Well, let's take a shot to um take finally. Girl, I'm not taking You don't you have to take, take the whole thing. thing. Relax. You her um <laughs> It's strict in this motherfucker. It is. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Yo. Woo. Come on. Oh. <gasps> unk. You drink like a unk. You know them old niggas can drink. Woo. Give my daddy, he used to keep a whole bottle of gin on the side of his bed. Who? My daddy. I know that's right. Seagram's. Period. That was good. All right, so. You didn't have to you lie like that. Whole yeah, he didn't pour me a big one. Mm. I had a lot like what? Saying that shot was good. It was good. It wasn't. No. All well, right. Your show must be doing real well. You got some Gucci shoes on. Whoa. Oh. This show is doing very well. Well, you gotta relax. I'm just saying. Started. You gotta relax. You are doing very well. You I gotta, love to see it. You gotta relax. A content creator. Ooh wee. You gotta. You chill. got on some Louis shoes. Girl, it's fake. No, it's not. And she you got, got it the from BHG. <laughs> no, what's that? What? I don't know. <laughs> I hope y'all. <laughs> Bitch, let me tell you something. You could never, ever. You, don't, don't play with me like that. I would never. That's hey, low what's, what's, what's that? What's this, that? This is royalty. What is that? Apparently, which I didn't know about it either until Lex told me about it. It's a, a website called DH Gay where the girls uh, yeah. order fake stuff from. I found it on TikTok. And it's a whole side of TikTok where people be like posting videos, doing hauls, like showing all the fake shit. That they and got. I actually, I got dragged on TikTok like three months ago Why? because uh, there was a girl and she was doing a bunch of dh gates uh-huh. <laughs> and i asked in the comments i said why do y'all do this just out of curiosity and everybody in the comments got offended but i was just wondering why mm. i saw y'all interview with um des i had talked to des not too long ago uh-huh. oh, we I, saw that. I saw that i saw that on your page wait what i saw that on your page what you see on my page wasn't she on your page Des. you be having the girls the girls yeah. be coming through i didn't, the girls po- I didn't even post Mr. her yet Oh, well, Cap, but whatever. It's fine. See, I, I it's love cool. a good lie. It's cool. A lying queen. You better lie, girl. Because I believed it. <laughs> right, I saw it on your picture. I'm, I'm, I'm getting better at lying. You, you really well, did honestly, good. I'm a good liar. You the bad liar. You don't even but follow me, really first of all. She like, I saw it on your picture. No, you, you don't follow me. I, girl, I followed him. He didn't even follow me. No, you me didn't. Back like you want to bet? Minutes later. You don't even follow me. You want to bet? Yes, I do. Y'all be lying. Niggas be acting brand new. You gotta relax. I do follow you. I stand corrected. Mm. I apologize. Damn. I apologize. Shit. It's all good. Can we get to all right? Oh, all right let's sorry. let's talk serious. No, okay. y'all, y'all don't mind. Can we? Let's go. I, I like y'all already. All right. <laughs> so, Oops, do y'all wrong person? 
It's I'm cool. Sorry. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, I feel like y'all been doing this for a long time now. Like what? Yes. Four or five years? Yeah. Four? yeah. It's been a minute. It's like, been about five. It's been five years. Y'all y'all started off on like uh on DJ's scream. Well, no, we started in her bedroom. Right. On the floor. And then um the floor. we had like together? Uh, yeah, we were together. Sitting on, on the, the floor. floor. Sitting on the floor, literally. With my side tables. Literally. Terrible mics. Audio was terrible. Then um, we know Kodak. Uh, mm-hmm. Kodak was a friend of ours. He introduced us to Scream. We started working with Scream real close. And um, then we, Carlos had seen what we were doing. Carlos mm-hmm. came on the show. He, he was came like, to my house. Really, yeah. yeah, he literally pulled up at Dre's house, recorded with us. And he was like, a few months later, he asked us to come on 85. We went on 85. And it was like... It hit a million views like uh, that. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Yeah. So wait. So the DJ Scream versus the the 85 South show, that wasn't too far off? No. So actually, we had started doing the radio. Yeah, we, we were doing radio. We, we were doing weren't doing the signed same. to Scream. Yeah, we, we weren't signed to Scream. We were just kind of like, we used to work with him yeah, at the radio at station. at the radio station. Mm-hmm. Like, he wanted us to do like a segment every week with mm-hmm. him. So we were doing that for like a year. And then the pandemic hit. Yeah. So, you know, we couldn't go to the studio anymore. So then... We ended up, we weren't recording Poor Minds at the studio anymore because we actually started recording at his studio. Yeah. That was, yeah, exactly. So yeah, that's right. what I was talking about. We were recording at Screen Studio. We right. Recording that's on game, yeah. like, but we weren't signed <laughs> to But we him. weren't signed to him. So then we ended up doing the 85 South show mm-hmm. and then they were interested in but slow down. signing us. Before we get there, right? Uh-huh. Sorry. Y'all was, no, you're fine. Y'all was recording Poor Minds. And at his studio, mm-hmm. but it was on his on his YouTube too. Yeah, right? yeah. When did y'all make the switch of like going from his YouTube to y'all own YouTube? Um, when we started we, working with eighty five. Yeah, when we started going to eighty five. So, mm-hmm. just for sake of fans and people that don't know, red and red and black background is eighty five already. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the the background was pure black at first. If you go look, when, you know when we first started kind of talking to 85, mm-hmm. when the screen just turned black in the background. Yeah. Because oh, that's shit. when we went over there to the studio. So, yeah, mm-hmm. that's when that switch happened. But a lot of people, we didn't announce it because we didn't know if, like, we were just talking. You know, we didn't know if we were actually We was negotiating. Sign. It was negotiating. The yeah. negotiating was going on. What, so what the fuck y'all negotiating? At that um, moment. I mean, we, know I mean, we were. was negotiating. <laughs> we was trying to figure out. What makes sense for the both yeah. of us. Yeah. At that, I'm just curious for we people that don't no know. Bad, I mean, I'm just saying. You, you know how artists a lot sign of bad, have bad deals. deals. Yeah. Podcasters are signing bad deals. The podcasting world right now is like mu- the music industry. It really is. People are signing bad deals. People they, be excited to get a fifty thousand dollar advance. Yeah, their Which ad deals not, be trash. Say it again. Fifty thousand dollar what? Advance. advance. Loan. Exactly. Exactly. They, and, and but then, people don't. But also, people don't read the fine print, so they also don't even really realize that it's. Technically alone, right? Mm. They're signing, they, bad but they just be excited out here. to get it, and we cannot relate. I say no. I say that to say because at that time, right in that moment, because y'all relative, y'all was relatively new. Yeah, we were, um, we were. I mean, well, we had been doing it, work, but we still though. were. So I we didn't have a lot of listeners at that time. I think when we started working with eighty five around that time, we were getting probably like. Yo, this episode is sponsored by The Morning Meetup. Man, shout out to my guy David Shines. Man, he's probably one of the few people I know who actually built. Multiple multi-million dollar businesses, right? He created the morning meetup to help other entrepreneurs do the same thing. Now listen, as an entrepreneur myself, I know how hard it can get, especially when we start making money and we get to like this financial cap that we can't get past. And honestly, let's be real. They say it ain't what you know, it's who you know. We probably can't get past this cap because we either one, outgrew the people around us, or two, we just being lazy and winging in the rooms we need to be in. It's just plain and simple. But trust me. This is your time because the morning meetup is that room we got to be in. It's filled with, filled with entrepreneurs getting to it. They reading different books every month, right? They holding each other accountable. And it's just honestly just something dope to be a part of. So listen, if you're an entrepreneur and you're trying to get to this bag, you're trying to flourish more than you've been flourishing now, you got to go to the morningmeetup.com. That's www.themorningmeetup.com and join now. Let's get to it. i see you there. 10,000 listens yeah. a week. That's, I mean, that's, that's really good, though. And on the uh, grand scheme of things, but when it t- comes to like really making an impact, oh, yeah. not, really, not for not sure. Really. I'm saying, but like that ain't relatively new. Mm. That ain't that ain't. Like well, at that point too, when we started negotiating, talking, working with 85, we had already been doing poor minds for like a year and a half. Mm-hmm. But y'all was just doing it on Scream YouTube, right? Okay, so when when y'all got that opportunity, right, to do it mm-hmm. on his YouTube, why why what made y'all say yeah we're doing it? You YouTube may not make our own. 
Um, well, we had our own YouTube. We started uploading on his YouTube because we wanted the eyes. Yeah, he had more reach. He had a lot more subscribers, and it worked. <laughs> you know, and for us, it's all about strategy. We don't really, we have never been money driven because the mm. money going to come. When you do what you love, if you really love what you do, you going to know that the money's going to come. So we were never like, oh, we got to get a bag. We got to get a bag. It right. was always like, what makes sense so we can get more eyes on us? Mm. So once we got what we needed, you know, and I feel like it was kind of like the relationship had kind of just like, okay, this is where we are. We need to kind of take the next level up, mm -hmm. you know. And he had started uh, Big Facts at that time. Yep. You know, so it was just like the perfect time for us to be like, all right, but... I mean, Scream is doing his damn thing. No, for sure. And he put us on so much game. Like, mm -hmm. that man is very, very smart. Like, I feel like a lot of his um, knowledge that he gave to us is a lot of stuff that we still be using. No, and, and, and be honest, he I feel like he's one of the people that get overlooked a lot. Uh, man, I'm to telling you. To be honest, you. like, he's... He likes the silent killer. He, yeah. really, he really I mean, want to be real, like, that nigga is really, he really lit. Is. Like, um, and he I, used to do mixtapes and stuff back in the yeah. day. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. No, I he, mean, it's the perfect combination. I feel like Bank... Obviously, is well respected. Right. Jade, Jade is Brin crazy. Jade is, yeah. you know, Jade is so funny. She's so cool, and everybody fuck with Jade. Like if you yeah, Atlanta, fuck you don't with fuck Jade. with Jade, you a loser. So I'm, so you gotta understand, I'm not from here, right? Okay, so I didn't yeah. understand the dynamic. Yeah, I've been down here for a year now, and just within a year, I see. Yeah, I literally like see. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like, hey, for sure. Like, hey, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, crazy. We love Jade. Shout out to Jade. So y'all do that. Y'all make the switch, right? Mm -hmm. But y'all make the switch signing a deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Y'all been in this game for four years, almost five, maybe, mm -hmm. right? Would you guys say this is a male-dominated or female-dominated industry? Definitely mm, male-dominated. Yeah, I think every, I think everything when it comes to industry shit, period, is male-dominated. Yeah, From I the agree. music industry to the podcast industry to the entertain, the entertainment industry as a whole, male-dominated. And I feel like for us, it's a lot harder because. Um, we had to deal with people feeling like, oh, we just need to look at them. We don't want to hear nothing that they got to say. Y'all supposed to just be, be things cute. to look at. Yeah. So we had to fight to be like, nah, like we're educated and we're funny. Like, so it's all the odds are against women, especially women of color mm -hmm. when it comes to podcasting. I can understand that. <clears throat> can we have a conversation? Sure. Uh -oh. Can we talk? Okay. Can we talk? <laughs> yeah, let's go. For a minute. Sing. Oh. Girl, I want she ready. To know your name. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get back to that. We're going we gonna to get back to that. Now we got to do a you different act, song. Nah, because we ain't even finished. Go I'll ahead, man. Oh. To, to write, write you letters. Yeah, but I want, I want it. To what? To, to be much clever. Yeah. yeah. And I, <clears> okay. Like, all right, cool, wild. Cool, cool. You crazy. That sound crazy. <laughs> I like it. We did cool. run it down, though. We ran it down. We did. We did. Okay. We did. Yo, it's crazy, right? I'm going to get back to what I was saying. Mm. But speaking of, like, karaoke in Baltimore, is we do it a little different. Mm. We do, like, we don't do the song with the actual beat. We do something called blending. So, like, we'll put, like, a up-tempo beat. Mm. Y'all y'all seen the, um, oh. the, the new challenge with they... We call it the uh, the Park High Strut. Y'all ain't see the new challenge? Would they be doing yeah, that snap? Yeah, I, that's, yeah, I so, can't do it. So oh, that's, so that's of, a Baltimore thing. Yeah, yeah so that right. music is called blending. That's oh, a Baltimore oh, thing. okay, okay. Yeah, that's my that favorite. That dance is hard. Yeah, so like, imagine us singing that song, but you put like a, I don't know, like a club beat yeah, over yeah, top yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, fire. Like lip gloss or something. What's that? My little mama. That's what they be doing the dance to sometimes. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. My lip gloss Come is cool. Come on, man. I glasses. see. I can yeah, yeah, that yeah. here. That was hard. That's hard. Right, yeah. That's hard. That's hard. That's hard. That's that's that. Don't take her idea. Now, they they gonna the take niggas. it. They, they fuck around the remix. They're gonna that shit. That's gonna be hard. That's hard. That's hard. So, it being a male dominated field, right? Some I can I can. I'm knowledgeable to recognize that, mm -hmm. but sometimes I feel like it being pretty and and having what comes with being a bad. Mm -hmm. For lack of better words, I feel like that does work in y'all favor too. Oh, absolutely! I I definitely think it works in our favor, but I think that people underestimated us a lot at first. You know what I mean? Like I feel like we definitely look good, but we have a lot to say too. And me and Lex are very intelligent. Like we both have college degrees. Not to say that that matters. You know what I mean? It, it kind of does. I mean, well, only reason I say that it doesn't matter is because as I get older, I really realize for me personally. Finishing college, all that it says about you is that you could finish what you started. Because mm -hmm. you don't really need it to mm. advance. Right. You know what I mean? But it just means you dedicated and you could finish what you started. I, but I will say for me personally, the skill that I've learned, like, 
podcasting for me is easy because we just talking. Mm -hmm. But like, of, like next year, like I'm gonna get into like hosting things and like that's a skill that I definitely learned in mm -hmm. college. That I think we both did. on a mic or like. Like, yeah, because, I mean, reading a teleprompter, you know, being when we read our ads, we run through them ads. It's a skill. You know what I'm I saying? Mean, you can definitely tell the difference yeah. when me and Drea shoot something because people be like, damn, y'all did this fucking quick because mm -hmm. we come in, shoot it, and we leave. Yeah. You know what else is a skill that uh, not even just women or men, right, but people that's in this space in general, mm -hmm. right, any type of professional space and they having success, being consistent. Yeah. Right, working, like, people, they always talk about the cliche, but... Working through those hiccups, man. That's a job. Like that's a talent. It is. You have to be talented to do that. Honestly. I literally was reading an article a few weeks ago, and it said that most people don't realize that success is ninety five percent consistency mm. and five percent of it, your intelli actual intellect. Mm. And I feel like that's true. I mean, we talk about it all the time. When we started Poor Minds, it was actually Wind Down Wednesday, mm -hmm. and the way we were posting every week and when i say nobody was watching and we tell this story every time because people be like oh can you, can y'all give me some advice i'm starting a podcast i said i don't have nothing to tell you but drop every keep week. going drop every i can't tell you but i think else. the funny thing about that with us dropping every week when nobody was listening i think it was just too because we was having a fucking ball yeah, having fun. we used to be having yeah, fun i mean we still have fun bitch. i mean no what no but i'm saying yeah we having fun now but bitch we it's getting working. paid yeah, now it's yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. it's a business yeah. now so yeah. it's also easy easier to keep going when it's money motivated yeah. at this yeah. point but i feel like from the beginning we was always having fun yeah and so when you're doing something and it doesn't feel like work that makes yeah, it's, it it's easier, easier. and mm -hmm. i feel like that's what everybody should look for with what they want to do with their life is passion yeah, you're right mm -hmm. you're right i'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a little pushback and i say that because it is, and y'all have a, a friendship, mm -hmm. right? Y'all have yeah. a friendship first. Let's not get it fucked up. That's not perfect. Yeah. I'm pretty sure y'all have had y'all times, yeah. right? Like, that don't mean that y'all not friends, but y'all had y'all times, mm -hmm. and through those it's times, y'all have to... Right, and, but but through those times, <laughs> y'all got to work through that, yeah. right? Yeah. A lot of people, like, let's not... I don't want y'all to... I want to give the credit y'all deserve. A lot of people can't go through that. A lot of people have these, these, these issues, and it's like, man, well, fuck you, I ain't recording right now. You know why, though? They're not, that's ego that's ego and also they are not this is my sister though that's why i always say like when people fall out and they can't work together or whatever it's like when you love somebody and you care about them and you'll do anything for them it's easy i mean i'm not gonna say it's easy to work through the problems but you're gonna get through it family fights all the time so it's just like for us nobody win when the family exactly we're very we realized we were so much stronger together than we were like apart when we weren't yeah like home. we need each other Not like and i think you have to take ego you have to take away your ego mm -hmm. to realize that sometimes mm -hmm. like i need licks she need me mm -hmm. and i just want to i just i'm gonna double down this because i get what you're saying lex but i feel like you're overlooking the is like it's people who are in relationships, friendships that are real, mm -hmm. and they they sometimes you gotta miss a show because of the tension. Mm -hmm. And I'm giving I what you're saying. I feel like there's a lot of friends that that have. And you could be friends and, and still and still have fallen out, but to work through that means even more. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. just saying I think you might not even see how much like that's a good that's a great thing that y'all yeah. got everybody mm -hmm. can't do that even the best of friends yeah right. you feel me like we could still be best friends but it's like i can't work with your ass right, you know right. like i'm gonna let you from the fall but, like, but i also think that's also because people be wanting to start businesses with their friends and just because that's your friend it doesn't mm. mean that they a good business partner Speak on it. No, nah, facts. Everybody is not meant to be a boss. Everybody is not meant to run a company. And I think sometimes people want to help their friends and be like, oh, you know, I'm doing well. Or, oh, I feel like we have great chemistry. Like, let's do something together. But your friend ain't a boss. Your friend don't got a boss mentality. Mm -hmm. Come on, relax. That's not that. That's, 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 can I be the nice guy? I'm going to be the nice guy. Yeah. You know what? It don't even be that all the time. Right? It, like, because we, we all don't know how to be. We don't all don't have to be bosses. We have to have workers for a reason. I mean, we have to have workers, yeah. right? And there's nothing wrong with being a worker. We, you were a worker before. Yes, I right? literally, I've only been working for myself for a year and a half. Right. So I don't, I don't, I don't want to contribute it for not being a boss. A lot of people, it goes back to that ego thing, right? A lot of people don't know how to put that pride to the side and allow somebody to be the boss in that moment. But that's what she's saying. When you're a boss, when you a real boss, and you know. Talk you to know me. how to put your ego to the side because you know what? I don't give a fuck about what 
you know, because we had a situation happen before, and you know what? I had to put my pride to the side because I have a show to fucking put on. And you know what? I'll look like the weak ass bitch right now in the moment because I got a show to put on. Mm -hmm. So when you a boss, th that goes into what she's saying. That's a fact. So you talking about it's the same. That's it's a the fact. Same that's thing. A, that's, that's what I'm a saying. fact. It's, a it's giving me chills. Thing. Like I swear to God, that's a, that's a, when you a boss, you know how to take a step back. You got to. That's it's a, a mental fact. thing. Damn. Like mm -hmm. people don't be realizing. Like you cannot. And a lot of the time too, I think running your own business is not for people who take everything personally. Facts. Mm. Cause you can't take shit personally all the time in business. We take the fall for a lot of shit. Me and Lex, it be so funny because people always think that like we be getting into it. They be like, oh, Drea be always disagreeing with Lex or Lex be over talking Drea or whatever, vice versa. The crazy thing is when me and Lex do poor minds, no matter what goes on on camera, right after the show, we still be best friends. Like we do not internalize anything that happens that we do on camera. Can I ask you a question? Of course. Are you you feeling like the vibe right now? What you mean? Like you feeling the vibe? Am I tipsy? No, are you feeling the vibe? Just like the, the, the vibe. The vibe. The vibe. The vibe. It's the the vibe, vibe, right? The vibe, right? Even though the LED lights pop. I'm, I'm, I'm getting. It's a vibe right I, I, I say that because I can kind of tell like you feeling the vibe because like I've seen that. Like I don't pay no mind, but I've seen people say Lex and, I, and Lex is always like the talkative person. But like you've been like you, you really came out like on some. I but like you it though. You don't watch the show then. No, she I, always. This is her. But no, Lex, you are like the the more. I mean, I know. I mean, I mean, well, Lex is more. I think Lex is more outward with her personality. Yeah, that's what like, I'm saying. I'm just. I'm really a chill. But person. I'm getting. But I'm not getting chill right. I'm getting like. But that's what I'm saying. You know what it is though? I because like a lot of because but no but listen because you remember when we first started the show everybody asked me Lex. you're so funny you're so this why would you do this show with her we went through that for a while yeah and I'm like yeah. Let you don't me, see. I got this. Okay, I, I fucking get it. got this. You don't. You don't see what I see. And let me tell y'all, ain't mm. no, no offense to nobody, but ain't nobody I've ever met in my life can do what she, what she does. Mm. Cause you know what? Sometimes I don't feel like being fucking funny. Mm. But when I'm not having a good day, she carry, she can carry the show. It's easy. And that's all I'm saying. I can see, like I can see, yeah. it, right? Like I can, I can, I can sit here quiet for the rest of the time, and y'all gonna have a fucking ball. Mm. Yeah, I can't. It's. It would be anybody else I'll bring in here. I'll be like, "All right, let me let me, <laughs> let me hold it down. You fucking it up. Let yeah. me take over because you fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I fuck with it. The energy is amazing. Like between you guys, I so I think people always think that about me, and that's so interesting. I just think I'm very you like out of yeah. out of me and Lex. <laughs> I'm very. <laughs> we outside. We outside. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Now, we, right. now we about to go across the street. Y'all know where. We can't right. say it on the show. Yeah, but um. I think it's so interesting, though, that people always say that about me because I feel like I be chilling, but I'm very observant. That's why I'm like that. Like I feel, And I feel like out of me and Lex, like it's crazy because she's a little older than me, but I feel like I'm like the protective one. Yeah, for sure. Because you way nicer and you for way more sure. funny. I'm always sitting in the cook. Yeah. People what's going on. She be like, attention. don't talk to that bitch. Lex be the don't one that, that fall in love. You be like, nah, because you need to, because. Yeah. Well, yeah, and I see through niggas too. Like, yeah. I be telling her, I be like, girl, okay. But it's just interesting to me because people did used to think that I wasn't, like, I didn't have nothing to, like, offer. Or but it was so, table, because the thing was. It was because I was quiet. And I also wasn't comfortable. I think that you have to get comfortable on camera, too. I think like, some people are naturally comfortable on camera. Right. And Lex is one of those people. I had to get acclimated with, like, being on camera. Because I've always been a super private person. I don't like people in my business. I don't like talking about my business. Mm -hmm. So, but I always tell people me. go watch the very first episode of Wind Down Wednesday, and then watch like the latest Poor Minds episode, yeah. and you'll see the different the growth. Not, I mean, you'll just see her like who I, because the person that she is now on camera is the person I met from day one. I'm always that person. She's on always camera. been that way, but she just had to get more comfortable on camera, and I knew that once we were doing this consistently, that she was gonna get there, and I was like. Yo, isn't it's it? Easy. It's crazy because I um, I have a podcast, a Gemini Scorpio podcast, right? Uh oh. I know you. Which one are, are you the you? Gemini or the Scorpio? I know. Because I'm one. about to judge Which the one? fuck out of you, Gemini. Agreed. She don't like Gemini, so. Ah, I know it. Fuck you. We know which one you were. Because you were saying, oh, we gonna have a. If we gonna cry, we gonna laugh. That is Gemini's behavior. <laughs> it ain't Scorpio behavior. A Scorpio poker face. 
a Scorpio would have been like. I probably got. Yeah. I probably got the best poker face. You a Gemini. Honestly, I don't dislike Gemini. You do. You said it. It's I over. Do. You can't. You can't take it back. You do. what's that? That's not do. You do. <laughs> I was trying to hold it back. You saw my lips. You do. Every time so y'all going to just keep okay? Because we ain't gonna talk about Texas. It's country as shit in Texas. They wear like orange, red, and yellow at the same time. Shit is crazy. That's fine. first of all, time out. I put that shit on. I'm 85 south from head to toe. Stop playing with me. No, I just I'm fresh to fuck. Now you definitely can't. Nah, the socks. But, nigga, stop playing with but me. But now I ain't gonna lie. The 85, they got some merch. They got some good I'm merch. I'm telling you, like, fire merch. They got some fire merch. So 85southapparel.com. Like, period. Whatever. So <laughs> I had a I, I, I had a podcast right, mm-hmm. and my guy Alex, my producer, he was kind of like reserved. Okay. And people always was like, yo, you need to put somebody else on, da da da. I'm like, yo, you have no idea because I see something in him that mm. y'all don't see. Yeah. I say the same thing with you, right? Isn't it crazy how being a visionary is so important? Oh, I I been I think when I first moved here, um, me and Dre had a conversation. I said, it's crazy because I know I need to be doing something. Eventually, I know my what my foot in the door is, and I know what I really want to do. Mm. And being a visionary is different. Mm. It's really different. And it'd be like stuff that I share where I'm like, I predicted things that's going to happen in certain tre- and like trends and conversations that we have and it be happening every time. Mm-hmm. So let's talk so, about this yeah. then. What about the times? I'm pretty sure you've been there. Maybe not now. You mature more. But what about the times when you're trying to tell somebody your vision? And I know they say you're never supposed to. What about the times when you're trying to tell somebody your vision and they just don't see it? Oh, it used to hurt my feelings. Now I don't care. I, mm. I used to really... That shit used to be... It was heartbreaking, mm, literally. Mm, mm. I think that, too, you know, the thing about vision is that, especially if you a spiritual person and you believe in God... Let's see where like, you're going. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. So God give you your vision, Uh-oh. right? Yes. He don't give it to all of these people around you. So that might include your mom, your grandma, your mm. best friend, whoever. Like, God gave you the vision, so you have to do what you need to do and what you feel like you need to accomplish to get to that goal mm, or mm, to mm. accomplish that vision. Anybody around you that don't believe in it, I'm not saying you need to get rid of them, but they you just can't. Around. You can't. No, no, that's not true. I don't. I don't feel that way. Cause bitch, you. I, I'm not gonna get rid of my mama. <laughs> Points were made. Like, my mama might not see my vision, right, but I'm right. not about to get rid of her. Right, right, right. But at the same time, I just don't have to share certain things with you no more. You don't have to understand it. Mm. Like, we could be cool and we could talk about other things. We don't got to talk about that. It's crazy. And I'm going to still work towards what I'm trying to. What's the story to... in the Bible with Jesus and God gave him, like, the fish and the bread? Niggas was like, you ain't about to feed all us with the fish yeah. with one loaf of bread. Right. And, this, and he was like, I got to go feed and these niggas. Feed so everybody. I was actually. And everybody fucking ate. As you, I was actually. It was, I have a. a scripture it's not that scripture but it's another scripture about um it being a preview of um to the existence i'm not gonna go into it but it was something like that right yeah and i say this all the time i feel like you know god did give us our own pair of eyes to see what we're going to see and a lot mm-hmm. of times people don't see that you know what i'm saying but it can be frustrating when you're trying to share it with somebody and they don't see a vision because it's like i want you to understand me right we always want to be understood mm. fuck that we do but, but you I, can't take it personal you can't though. you can't but we're human though we can't ignore that part you, well, you can take it personal, but what I what I should have said is you shouldn't. Yeah, mm, for sure. You shouldn't take it personal. And it come with time, it come yeah. with growth. Like mm-hmm. like I said, right? Like mm-hmm. you gotta you gotta go through that to understand, you know what, I can't share my vision with everybody because they might not get it. Mm-hmm. And to protect myself, mm-hmm. let me just show you. Right? But anyway, that's crazy that y'all can have that conversation. You could be like, yo, sh- y'all can say what y'all want, but I know I know my my bitch. You feel me? Like and nah, you gonna she see. know me. She knew me. That's yeah, hard. Facts. Like it was another easy. Not another question. Mm-hmm. Y'all being so good looking, right? Say that again. <laughs> Say it again. I and got... we don't got no makeup on today. Fresh face. Y'all don't have makeup on? No. I got lashes on. And I mean, boss. we both wear lashes. Yeah. Well, I, I, mean, I don't be knowing. I, I just feel like shit. I don't know. But yeah, we don't have no makeup on. Just lip gloss and lashes. Okay, so y'all being good looking women, right? Y'all talking about, because, I mean, early on, y'all were talking about a lot of relationship stuff. Mm. A lot of guys and shit like that, right? That's early on. Mm. Do y'all feel like y'all ever get put in a box? Absolutely. Like, well, I need to know the box. Well, I feel like the box he's talking about is, like, of good-looking women. Like, people pair us with women who look like us. That and just, like, one to talk about relationship shit. Like, it could yeah. be multiple things. Like, like let's say, for example, sheesh, I might not. I should probably shouldn't say this, but fuck it. I personally didn't like y'all um, Breakfast Club interview. 
Really? Mm-mm. That's crazy. That's the first that's one time of the, I've heard that. That's one of the, like, that's literally the interview that we got the most positive feedback on. I'm going to tell you why so I didn't. what you didn't like about it? Because from Charlemagne, right, I think he's, like, he's one of the people we watched grow. Right. Okay. And even at that stage in his career, he's he's grown so much. And I feel like they did put you on the box, honestly, because the most of the conversation was about BDB relationships. Okay, okay, but let me say this. Let me say this. And we have actually had this conversation. Okay. But we understand. You have to realize, I started this podcast when I was 27 years old. I'm 33 now. That's six years. Mm-hmm. So, yes, my mind frame has changed, but we know what got the people in to start watching. Got your attention. So if that's what people want, if they need to be introduced to us like this, that's okay. Mm. We just are scratching the surface. So we know they want to hear the story about the Range Rover. They want to hear how I got my student loans pay off. We know what people mm. want to hear. But when you really take the time out and go and be like, let me listen to these girls, you're going to fucking fall in love. It's like way more. You got to peel the layers. And mm. an interesting fact about the Breakfast Club interview, that shit was supposed to be like a 15-minute interview. It was one of their longest interviews that they but did. They had, we were when we fun. started talking. Well, this we, year. Yeah, say, this, this year. year. So when we started Pull your talking, mic back towards your mouth. When we started talking. Like this part though, right? <laughs> <laughs> like just, thank, like you don't even have to, just, yeah, yeah. Thank, oh, she she know what I was talking about. That was it. That's it. that's it. That's it. That's it. She know what I'm talking but about. But yeah, so it was actually supposed to be like a like 10, like, 15 minute. <laughs> she know what she's doing. But go on, I'm sorry. She do. 10, 15 minute. <laughs> a 10, 15 minute interview, you know, they was just going to talk to us, kind of like touch lightly on what we do, the podcast, whatever. But when we started talking and we started vibing with them, it ended up being like a 45 minute yeah, we were on yeah. interview. Yeah. You know, so. I think it was, might have been like an hour maybe. Yes. No, yeah. I mean, but that's what I'm saying. But it yeah, went yeah. way longer than it was actually supposed to go because it was actually like a, a vibe it was good. and a connection and, and, and they and, fucked with us. And I want to say this too. First of all, and I'm glad you said that, Charlemagne is very fucking good at what he, he does. Is. I, I mean, think MV2. He's MV2. Not, that's Charlemagne is... He's good. We're not trying to tell you nothing, but Charlemagne is like he's crazy good. He, yeah. but li- and this is how. Listen, this is because this is this is when my journalism kicked in. Okay, mm. I know how it feels to sit in this chair and talk to people who just don't got it. Mm-hmm. They dry. You got to pull shit out of them. Oh my god! And then and not trying to be funny, but we're very good at what we do. So it's easy for you to sit there and talk to us and be giving it back. It to is. You. Yeah, it is. So honestly. Charlemagne, he gonna bounce back. It's like you finish your sentence, he already got another question. He's thinking the whole time that you're talking. Yeah. And that's what you're doing if you good at that. And, 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 and always it was thinking. easy for us. So when somebody makes it like you're good at what you do. Oh, thank you. Cause no, seriously, there's been times when we went on people's podcasts and we're like, I don't want to talk. Like, you're not about to sit up here and at, people be like, like you letting you run the show basically. They'd be like, Oh, what you want to talk about, Lex P? I don't know. <laughs> I will be like, you know what I'm no, saying? Thanks. That's the worst thing to us is going so to without, So let show. me clear the air. So it wasn't really saying that was a bad interview, right? But I'm saying I thought that was a moment for y'all to explore more than but that. Why, but, 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 but why, though? Because I mean, but and then what? I, I'm going to tell you why. So just, and, and, and this is the space that I, this is the void that I think I feel, and I'm okay with that. Because Ooh. I understand, I like, I was going to get into the, uh, the, 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 the viral clips and all that, right? I understand... For lack of better words, feeding people medicine in the candy. I understand that. So what that is, like, we can have a great conversation. We can have an hour, two-hour conversation about some really good shit. But I'm going to pull a clip that's going to get people attention because they're going to come course. here. I get that, right? So I understand. But when I'm when I'm looking at it, I'm like, yo, this is the moment to to show these women business minds, right? This is this is the biggest platform in our generation, right? This is the moment to to show, like how they really got it out the dirt and talk about, I don't know, like, for example, I got a question about the, the Range Rover, right? I, me personally, it's cool, but I don't want to talk about you getting the Range Rover, right? I'm going to talk about it, but I want to talk about why you, like, what comes what comes from you taking that Range Rover from somebody, right? Yeah, you ain't had sex with them, but it, we can't ignore the, the expectation that comes from it, right? And I feel like a lot of women, women might not be in your positions to understand that, you know what, I can't give this man sex because he's giving me something. They might feel pressured with that, right? Mm-hmm. So I feel like it's a duty to us as 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 uh, people in the spotlight to really, to showcase that, right? To give, to give back to our community and giving back to our community is like, yo, yeah, I got a Range Rover, right? But let me tell you something. Right, that comes with a lot of that comes with a lot of expectations. It comes with a lot of backlash, right? And I feel like these are the things that we can teach people because you're 33, you're 31. We ain't 25 no more. Now I agree. Well, I'm sorry. With you. I'm sorry. No, no, I mean, no, I mean no, to get. I no, mean no, to no. get my soapbox. I get it. You're right, but let me tell you why. 
we didn't mind that because guess what? What did I say earlier? I like to teach people things. So mm. guess what? A lot of these girls that listen to us, they're not 33. They're not. They're young. So, yeah, be young and have fucking fun. Mm. Life is not meant to be taken seriously. I don't want to fucking talk about that every time I go on an interview. Sometimes I want to talk about how somebody ran it up. And that's okay. Because mm. what's wrong with being a complex person? Yes, I want to go shopping at Louis Vuitton. But, yes, I can talk to you about you know, deeper things and, you know, how important it is to give back to the community. I can talk to you about how I built my business from scratch. Mm. Maybe today I want to talk about that, but why do we have to, because you know what, just like you said, putting us in a box, that's putting people in a box still. Why mm. do we have to be shown as one thing? Mm. Why do we have to be this one, one thing dimensional. and show... I can be multi, I can be a bad bitch. Fact. I can be a funny bitch. Mm -hmm. I can be a businesswoman. I can show whatever side I feel like showing that day. That's a fact. So so you are right. But still, I think I do think, honestly, like again, again, this I hope this don't get canceled. But it's for conversations, real conversations. Of course. I feel like that specific one, it was in, in a lot of the interviews that I do watch, right? I watch the uh, Hot 97. The ones I watch is all surrounded by relationship stuff. It's all about like what 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 a nigga got you or what like it's like it's more to you, like you said, it's is. more to y'all than that. But that's what's hot right now. I mean, I don't even think it's about what's hot right now. I think that's what the foundation of our... That's what got our attention. That's what got the show popping. Now, if you watch Which the show... I we I mean, don't even yeah, at we, this point we boss ass bitches like I we make talk my about, own money I do my own shit we had but, Wall Street Trapper on the show we talking about investing yeah. we have we talk about so we just had um this episode is actually I don't know when this is dropping but um by the time this dropped we have an episode with uh Young Dolph's fiance mm -hmm. Mia J I mean we got yeah. real life shit going on but that's what I'm saying and that's why I'm saying so if you want to get to the like deeper that's things why go watch the point, show we're broadening mm, yeah like, that's a good go watch the show then yeah. so you think when you're doing this promo right. Let's keep it fun so people can come watch the show and they can I get mean, the gems from it. But let me tell you, let me ask you something though. Did you read some of the comments from the Breakfast Club? No, interview? I don't read them. Okay, so literally, I ain't fucking with no comments. Most of the comments, <laughs> I ain't was, fucking with I mean, it was comments. literally thousands of comments, and majority of the comments were positive comments. Like they was like, "These girls are funny as fuck." No, I'm don't about to go subscribe to their podcast. I'm about to go listen to them because I feel like. Funny and the personality is what draws people in. And once mm. they come, then they can see, okay, they know about financial literacy. They can school mm -hmm. us on, like, they be they be reading books. They, they know about a lot of different shit. These are college-educated women. They can talk about a lot of different things. But I think the funny and the beauty is what... Attracts people. Attracts now, and, people I, and that's why and I, I, don't want, we, I don't want to offend y'all when I yeah. say, like... I, when I say, I just felt like it could have been a better balance with the magnitude of that platform. Just because I've watched y'all show, right? And I've known that is is y'all are multifaceted, right? Understanding that, I'm like, yo, this was a great moment to show that. Mm. That was my opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. This is my thing. When stuff is a, if something is an interview, right? And then people are asking you questions, you have to answer the questions. Mm. It's not our show. This ain't had nothing to do with y'all, no. This ain't got nothing, nothing to do no, with y'all. No, but that's what he was saying. Yeah. That he was like, you know, Charlamagne is good at what he does, but he feels like... He missed honestly, the opportunity to show... But he didn't miss the opportunity. He was just going off of what he sees and what he knows. He probably ain't... That's a busy man. He probably ain't sat down and watched the show. But at the end of the day, it was like, we funny. Niggas is trying to laugh. It's 8 o'clock in the morning, nigga. I'm not nigga, trying to talk about my taxes, We nigga. had to get up at 6 I want to motherfucking laugh, and I'm yeah. glad he did what he did. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Stop Lex is going. Lex ain't going. I'm not she, going. She is on a Charlemagne train, 100%. I ain't going. mad. No, we no, love it's not Charlemagne about because Charlemagne fuck with us. We fuck yeah. with But no, I fuck with him, too. No, no, no. I, but it's this not is about conversation. the Charlemagne train. I get what you're saying, but that's what I'm saying. Sometimes, nigga, I don't want to talk about serious shit. If you want to hear me get in my feelings, go subscribe to my page. Patreon. I'm very serious on there every week. We be crying. Come to the sh come to the uh live shows. We'll 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 get serious and have a good conversation. But if I'm on somebody else's platform and they see Lex P, you're gonna you're not get mad at them. you're gonna get Lex P. You know, if you want to really get into depth, you're gonna have to come and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Really watch our stuff and really get to know us. So back to the question. So y'all not mad at being grouped in. If that's what y'all want, they gonna I'm do not it mad. anyway. I'm never mad at being grouped in anything because I'm not like nobody. I'm one of them. Because they gonna do it anyway. So they're well, first of all, they gonna do it anyways. But we also have a one of one podcast, and we one of one people. Per so point. when you come and you I mean, watch, y'all do have a unique. 
like it's dope. Yeah, for thank sure. You. I'm not gonna lie, no, it is. It is. No, thank you. And so I think that if people get out of their own heads and stop looking at the surface level shit, like, oh, these are some you know, they've had surgery, they look good. And I'm gonna do it. They again. fit the they fit the IG model aesthetic, whatever. So I'm not gonna listen to them just for that reason. Cause I do feel like you have a group of people that just don't wanna listen to us just cause we look a certain way. Right. So if you get out of your own head and you actually go listen to the show, it's good content. And especially if you watch it from the beginning until now, you can see, see the growth. The growth. And if you get out and your us as people. She's saying it nice. If you get out your motherfucking feelings, you could learn something. From mm-hmm. me, niggas. You think it's just the, the niggas? No, uh, I think it's no, right. That's niggas, why I said hoes. Look, we like, from Texas. Niggas general. is universal. Yeah, universal. I get Nigga, you, I get with hoes, hoes is universal. We call everything a hoe. Everything a hoe. And, and you think you think people are? Do you think is that people are intimidated though? Absolutely. Yeah. They, you know why? Because they never expected us to be here. I think we came and we did some shit that people wasn't expecting us to do. Yeah, I mean, granted, so red and black, I mean, I, oh, again, sorry, for, for sake of, like, just for time stamps, I feel like red and black background kind of still was lit. So I, it's hard for me to resonate with that because I, when I when I was introduced to y'all, y'all was doing a damn thing. It might not have been oh, millions okay. of views, but it still was lit. Like, you feel you me? You was entertained. Yeah, for yeah. sure, 100%. Mm. I just think this conversation in general, people are intimidated with because, let's be real, Woman in y'all category. I got to be careful. Say it. Come on, I'm ready. (laughs) Woman woman like yourself, I feel like. What's like ourselves? You got to elaborate. Come on. The the bad. You said the the, the bad. Okay. You said it. You said the surgery. The You know what I'm saying? Pretty woman that that, 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 that live a certain lifestyle, right? (laughs) I feel like y'all could be intimidating to a certain type of person. And I understand that, even though I'm not that person. I'm going to tell you why. A guy buy you a Range Rover. Because you got on Gucci shoes. Period. Say it again. They can't. Can they see his shoes? Z- no, they can't. No, no, they can't. Anyway. I see you, baby. But, but, but even that, let's, say, let's, say, let's be real, right? Even that, right? Okay. I feel like men, men can be very ignorant, right? So a man... I understand that this really has no value to me, right? I right. do it because I, I know it look good. But it's, I mean, at, it's, but probably at a one, just, it's probably just something you like. Yeah, too. and, and, and nothing is wrong with buying shit that, that you like. No, I'm being real. No, I'm being real. I'm being real. I'm going yeah. to be 100% real. But before I knew better, I'm going to be. I'm gonna talk about men. I'm not going to talk about men. Before I knew better, I was going to do this because I knew it was going to attract a certain type of girl. Okay. Ooh. Right? Let's be real. I'm being real. real. I'm 33. I mean, I'm 30. One shit. Look, Damn. You try to catch up with? Yeah, yeah. I'm 31. I told you my drink was strong. He don't even know how to act. <laughs> he don't know how old he is. <laughs> I'm 33. Me too. Me I'm, thir- too. I'm, I'm 31, ahead. right? Go so, ahead, but at, but like they said, when you was a boy, I I did child things. And so I became a man. I put away my childish ways. Mm. I'm saying it was a point, right? And this you is be reading a good book. I, I can't. I, I try to, but it was a point where I would wear this to press upon somebody else. Mm. Right now I wear it because at one point at the time I couldn't afford it. It's a difference, right? Mm. And I feel like it can be intimidating because what happens is a guy buy you a, a Range Rover and let's get into this conversation. And you say that, you gotta say like, when a, when a man approach you, when niggas with money is be the corniest ones because they approach you like a certain way, right? Mm-hmm. I get it, but at the same time, you ain't say no to that Range Rover. You ain't say no to half of your uh, student loans. So it's like, yo, I see that, and I think that's the standard. When it's not really the standard, but I think that's the standard because I don't know any better. Right? So I understand. I feel like I can understand somebody being intimidated because it's like, damn, I got to come I gotta come correct, at a, honestly. And you should be intimidated. Okay. Because I, I don't want a nigga that's not intimidated trying to talk to I me. I want you to. Because, uh, I, you like know you, I like that. I like that. I like that. Bitch, that's hard. You was talking about the shoes, and it was like. It's more about quality of things, okay? For sure. So let's let's get That's into that. And let me tell you something. Whether that man paid my student loans or not, they was going to get paid. Mm. Whether he bought her that Range Rover or not, she was going to get a new car, mm. brand new car. Mm. So the thing is, if you're not adding to our lives, we're not depending on nobody. And that's the point that a lot of people be missing. Mm. We are not out here sleeping on other people's couches. And Me and Drea were working, getting money, whatever, from niggas and doing this, but we weren't going shopping. We're just now starting to shop and get the things that we want because now we're living debt-free. 
When niggas was giving us money, we was paying off our bills, paying our credit card bills. We say this all the time, but that's but guess mm-hmm. what? We can reel you in with these clips like you were saying, but it's more to learn. Right. We I buy this stuff now because guess what? These shoes gonna last me four years. Facts. Versus me buying the stuff from Fashion Nova I used to buy, and I gotta buy it every two weeks. Cause so now you I'm, I'm buying this stuff me. because that's it's quality. I want quality things. So if you're not a quality nigga that's trying to bring some quality stuff, I don't want it. Because guess what? If you're a quality nigga, you're going to be around as long as these are Louis shoes and for longer. a long motherfucking time. Yo, what's popping? This episode is sponsored by BK Juices. Look, man, if you're looking for some drinks that's refreshing and that's also healthy, make sure you check out BK Juices. You can find them online at bkjuices.com. A social media, Instagram is the real BK Juices, and Facebook is BK Juices. If you want 10% off, all you got to do is go online at bkjuices.com, enter the promo code JHill10, you get 10% off. Like I said, if you're looking for something that tastes good, that's refreshing, and that's also healthy for you, check out my people at bkjuices.com. That's BK Juices. She bodied that, right? I'm weak because I was looking that. at him. He was over there like. She bodied I'm that. I'm just saying. Hey, Come on, man. She, she got. Hey. Hey. Come on. What did she say? Points were made. Nah, that I was hard. So. I'm just. I'm being real. You should want to be a quality man. A quality man is going to upgrade his girl. She going to upgrade you because you're not coming over here to something that's regular. And I feel like in life you attract, like, whatever type of girl you are, whatever type of man you are, that's the type of people you attract. Wait, wait, wait. wait. So I, I, I heard you, Lex, right? I'm hearing you, Drea. Mm. Okay. All I'm saying is I'm speaking for the people. I feel like the classic you, you got are... <laughs> No. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's wild. I'm, I'm sp- like, I feel like that's an anomaly. Mm-hmm. But if we going to talk, let's talk. Most of the women that that I see, mm. that's in this group, for lack of better words, right? That we're talking about this group, right? This generic people, that generic woman, they aren't handling things the smartest way. They are the woman that ain't buying shit, right? And they're leeching off another nigga. Or they they doing it because they see Lex P and Drea like, oh, a nigga bought her a Range Rover, you can't fuck with me unless you buy me a Range Rover, pay half my, my bill. But they don't see the part, they don't see the part where y'all paying y'all bills. Y'all making sure y'all shit is good. Y'all ain't y'all ain't buying it until now when y'all can afford it and y'all and y'all bills paid. They not seeing that. So what happened is they want to look up to y'all, they want to emulate y'all. So uh-huh. then they like, now they like, oh they yeah, you gotta But see, that you know, know, I have so I now. have I have something to say for the girls, right? Talk because I had this conversation with somebody the other day that I'm dating right now. Uh oh. And snaps for the dating. Mm. And I love it. Mm. You wouldn't <laughs> With the Chef's kiss kid. is crazy. Mm. Chef's kiss. Go ahead. <laughs> the, the point that I tried to make is this men love to say, okay. A woman's standards is up here, but you're not the woman who deserves to get these things. Mm. Like, you're not yet the woman who deserves to get a nigga to buy you a Range Rover or to pay your rent or to do whatever because you can't even do certain shit for yourself, right? But my argument is that at one point, I, too, was the girl who I couldn't afford certain shit neither. Like, I always had caviar standards on a 40-ounce budgie. Is that fair, though? Back in the day. But what I'm saying is that was just, I always seen a certain life for myself. That I goes always, back to the vision. I always seen a certain life for myself. I always knew what I wanted. I always knew what type of men I wanted to date, what type of life I wanted to live. And I wasn't settling for nothing less. But back in the day, could I afford some of the stuff that I wanted from men or that I expected out of relationships? No. But do I think that if I lowered my standard, I would have got to this point that I'm at today and been able to be at a point where I could require certain things today? No. Not if I would have lowered my standard. I, I feel like as long as you a woman who willing to work for what you want, then yeah, you could have those standards. Like, I didn't have it back then. But now I make my own bread and yeah, nigga you gonna give me what the fuck I want too or we not fucking with each other. Mm. So you think that if a, if a woman doesn't make their own bread, right, they should still have that type of standard? I think you can still have that type of standard, but what type of woman are you? What do you right. want to? The, and I hate to say this because I hate that. But no, I hate but that terminology. Truth, but what do you? What do you bring to the table, kind of? So right. So a woman like that, you that, can have that standard. Like you could be a girl who don't make. It doesn't even matter. five thousand dollars. Let's say five thousand dollars a month, mm-hmm. but you want a nigga to buy you a Chanel bag, whatever. Mm-hmm. What you doing is gonna make the nigga want to buy you a Chanel bag. 
That's what, what I'm saying. What separates you from the other? But 50. I'm not. But I'm not trying to be funny. If you make it five thousand dollars a month, why do you want a Chanel bag anyway? But that's what I'm. That's the conversation I'm trying to have, though. I disagree. I feel like mm -hmm. it'd be girls that don't even make that and want a Chanel but bag. But this is the thing, though, because I feel like, like I said, when I was at my lowest point, when I was like, I, the, I wasn't thinking about nothing materialistic. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about how can I put myself in a better position. Let me stack up this bread. Okay, I got this nigga to pay off my student loans. Mm -hmm. Next thing, when he started giving me money, I paid off my car. Bam. Now I don't have a car note. Don't have to pay my student loans. Okay, let me stack up this bread. Mm -hmm. I was like thinking about how can I get out of working every day? But that's why I say y'all are, you're not normal. That's not the normal. But, well, so what I'm saying is, yeah, you should be asking for the stuff. So maybe if a nigga want to buy you something, whatever, just be smart with it. I feel like, yes, everybody should have a classic Chanel. I'm not saying... It, no, and you, it's, and it's they gold. should. Yes, because it's really an investment. You know, you Chanel's can buy... Chanel and Birkins six, appreciate. Six, five, six thousand dollars is, but is, guess is what? expensive. The, but guess what? A Chanel bag in... And thirty-two thousand dollars is... In, 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 in three but years... But it appreciates. It's going to appreciate in value. Chanel bags appreciate. And How Birkins you feel about appreciate. jewelry? About jewelry? I like jewelry. But I'm, I'm like... Jewelry I'm like, appreciate. I'm like Lex, though. So I feel like... Like I, certain things I ain't looking at because like I ain't there yet. But a lot of times people are watching social media, this Instagrams, aka instant gratification app, right? They look at it and they be like, "Oh, they got that, so I want this." I think people do that all the time, and all I'm saying is you need to focus on you, worry about you, get your shit together because you can't be a forty ounce bitch asking for. I, and I will say this, Dre actually Because I feel like even when I used to do that, I didn't yield the same results mm -hmm. that I'm yielding now. Like, I feel like niggas told this me This is to, a conversation I'm trying to have, Yeah, like, yeah. I, let's have it. I'm being honest. I'm being transparent. So you feel like in, in those moments, right? I feel like niggas would do little shit. Like, don't get me wrong. I, I don't like to call myself a finesser necessarily, but I feel like I have... The okay. gift you use I what you got. I have the gift of gas. But you use what you got. So I you feel like good. I've always been a girl who have been able to get shit out of niggas. Like I've been able to always get niggas to do shit for me that maybe they wouldn't do for the next girl. Mm -hmm. But I feel like now it's a different level of respect. Mm -hmm. Like it's res it's an actual level. Of Let respect. me not say a different level respect of respect. Now. It's a level of respect. It mm -hmm. wasn't a level of respect at one point. Yeah, you know what's crazy. For me, too, it'd be like certain guys, like how they came at me, niggas going to shoot they shot over and over again. And over and over But again. the way niggas shoot they shot how they used to versus now how they shoot they shot at me, it's completely different. Because mm. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, I'll use a, I don't know, like a lotto, for example. A man is going to shoot at lotto very differently than he shoots at just a random girl that's fine on Instagram. They go to Clark Atlanta. It, I mean, and that's I hate to no, say that, true. but this is the society that we live it's true. in today. It's true, for sure. It it, it it truly is, unfortunately. And I actually hate this, because you know what? That we do as people, because, and this is, I'm just saying, and it could be any movie star. The movie star could be a terrible person, and the girl from Clark Atlanta could be a mm -hmm. very good person that can help elevate you. Mm. You know what's fucked up about America that we do? Mm. What do, you know what I noticed? I went to Jamaica this past week. Mm -hmm. You lie, you was having fun. Every, I had a ball. I had a who, who took your pictures? My best friends. <laughs> well, no, it was my friends. We had a good time. It was her birthday. But uh, you know what? Every time I was Just drinking, it, having a good time, I walk up to people. Oh, hey, you so beautiful. You so this. Oh, what's your name? Oh, my name is Lex. What's your name? Blah blah blah. Oh, what do you do for a living? Why? Why? What you mean why? You know why? Because they use that to judge people. Because guess what? If I say, oh, I'm a stripper, oh, I would have known. And then if I say, oh, I'm a plastic surgeon, oh, shit. Babe, she's a plastic. Stop ask, Stop judging people by what they do for a living. That's where we all fucking up at. Why are we judging people off of their occupation? So, or what they look like. Uh, I literally went somewhere recently, and this nigga was like, excuse me, I ain't trying to offend you. Where you dancing? It... I said, where I dance at? I said, I've never danced a day in my life. He said, come on now. <laughs> I got into it with my Bro, I've never danced a day. I've never been a dancer. Like, I've never been I a shook stripper. I shook a little ass before. So, what I was going to say is, so, I feel, <laughs> I feel you, Lex, right? But I, 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 like, that don't have, so, I'm in a fraternity, right? And we have. Are a, you a. You shimmy? You a shimmy? 
or you bark? I bark. Uh, that's what y'all do? That's what y'all you do? You a cue? Yeah. Oh, you be lifting girls up and eating their pussy in the air. I'm 31 you, years old. You nasty. You is nasty. <laughs> you is <laughs> Yo, she is crazy. Hey. Nasty. But she is ahead. wild. The nasty is <laughs> <laughs> it was whatever. Okay. So anyway, um, so we have a thing where we get to know our friends or whatever, right? And a part of that is what you do for a living. So it's not judging you. That's really how you break down barriers to, to get to know somebody. You're not my friend. But that's, how you become, vaca- but that's how you become friends. To I, get we're to on know vacation. Somebody. I'm never gonna talk to you again. You, Why does it matter what I do for a living? People use what people do as their occupation to judge them. Mm -hmm. Because if you're really trying to get to know me, knowing me is not my job. Mm -hmm. I'm a real person outside of Lex P. So even if I tell you what I do, you're going to, you're going to go to my Instagram, see that I got all these followers. And then you're really going to be trying to, I don't like that. I don't like telling people what I do because now you acting funny and now you recording shit and now it's weird. Do you think that's a space that you in though? Because I feel like that comes in your space. But if you was just a regular person with a I, nine to five. I am a regular person. I'm still a regular person. And then a year and a half ago, I, I was that nine to five person. Right. So And I was still on vacation and people are asking me what I do for And you still living. ain't like it. I don't like it. Stop I think it's more me. of an aesthetic thing though. I don't think it's, yeah, I think it's because you look a certain way. No, it's not. No, it's not. Why? I, I'm going to ask my home. If I, I, I think if you looked more. Mexicans walk up to No. Everybody if I meet a guy. I'm sorry. I, I disagree. I feel like if you looked more like a doctor or if you looked more like a What does like a doctor a, look like, though? I don't know. I feel That's like crazy. they have a certain aesthetic. Get on the ass. No, it's my not. My doctor, my OBGYN literally looks like Bro, me. Bro, it's. No, she don't. I swear to God. <laughs> she got a fatty. <laughs> She's all, she got a fatty and she's, she's beautiful. Wallet. All I'm saying is, I swear. All I'm saying is, she don't look like you though. She all, got a fatty. All I'm saying is, if I met, okay. if I met Kyron, right? Shout out to my audio guy. If, if you, I met Kyron, right? Mm-hmm. I'm like, Hi, yo, Kyren. I'm like, what up, bro? This is how this how we met. What up, bro? What you do? I do this. That oh shit, bro. You could. That's networking. If that's you're the, in the right s- event, I'm getting drunk, taking shots, twerking on the bar. Why is you asking me what I do for a living? And y'all trying to play me That's like crazy. it's not a certain you know, stigma. Like, you no, because like. and, and I'm and I'm gonna speak on this because y'all trying you to play me. You hop on the yo. <laughs> so what you do for it? <laughs> yo, imagine nigga hop on the ball, you want dance with exactly. you like? Yeah, so 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 y'all tell y'all me. You gonna be like, yo, so so tell me like what you do for them? You scaring the hoes. You is scaring the hoes. But yeah, Stop y'all it. trying sorry, to play Jay. me like it's not a certain stigma attached with certain job titles. It is. It when is. you think of what certain people do for a living, you think of them looking a certain way. And I feel like, unfortunately for us, traditionally, we don't have the look for certain job titles. So, yeah, people going to ask you what you're doing. And if you say, if you were to say to somebody, oh, yeah, I'm a OBGYN, they going to be like, oh, shit. Yes, they're going to be no, shocked. They probably, they probably. I swear to God, I know a girl right now. I know a teacher with the she fat ass, the, the fake OBGYN ass, and all that. She's the OBGYN, and her ass is fatter than mine. She almost got fired. Not my, I'm talking about a different OBGYN. Remember I, the I'll teacher? Pull, I'll I'm pull not saying Instagram, they right? don't exist, but I'm just saying. Now, Instagram. remember the teacher? They, they tried to fire her because she had a fat ass? She Ex- come clean? I did. <laughs> so, stop. I, and I'm, but what I'm saying is. I'm not saying that's how I think. I'm just saying that is the we real. Done, like, that's doing? real. Look. What we doing? We done? Oh, Wait. no. We done? That's Wait, no, we, ghetto. Hey, Lex, what Y'all, we doing? Y'all, let's go. I'm trying to show you this Lex, what we doing? Look at her. Look at her IG. She's an OBGYN. Fat ass. Beautiful. She's a doctor. Literally he ain't a doctor. Nothing. I don't like that. He just. <laughs> oh, Dre, all I'm saying is she got a fat but ass. But why was he doc- just looking? Because the nigga no, was she in the don't. She do Yo, Dre is. She do got a fat devil. ass. She is. Crazy. She do got a fat ass. All I'm saying is she got a small waist and a fat ass. Small waist. <laughs> yes, her. <laughs> Dre, she got a. Look, friend. No, Lex dragged it. Y'all, she... Lex dragged it. <laughs> <laughs> even what's your name again? Kyrie. Kyrie ain't even agree. Bitch, you're lying. She you're, don't have a small no, waist. No, no. This is not a small waist. You dragged it. That's not a small waist. I hope they can't see this on camera. No, y'all. Make I'm y'all sorry. See this on camera. I'm sorry, doctor. That's not a small waist. With face too. No gonna comment. Edit this out. I ain't gonna edit it out. I'm just not gonna show it. <laughs> Y'all are wild. That was a Here, small bro. waist. It wasn't a small. You waist. said she looked like you, and that was a lie. I, that's not I ain't my lie. OBGYN. She my OBGYN look like. I ain't gonna lie. She low key looked pregnant, bro. <gasps> pregnant is a. <laughs> pregnant is what? <laughs>
All I need is somebody next to me. I'm never coming back on this show ever. <laughs> well, I probably should have sung that song. I'm sorry. But that was, I'm sorry. It was Come a good on. opportunity. Y'all wild. And that's wild. the hit. Yo. Y'all wild. You said anything? Yo, yeah, yeah. Pour it for yourself. All I'm saying is, I just feel like, stop asking people what <sighs> they do. Okay. It be good people out here that are just transitioning. Yo, so you know. I was transitioning. I And I have stripped before. So, so you know what's crazy, though? Because about that. Once. Right? And I shook my ass and popped my pussy for my life, bitch. How much money you made that one day? I made some money, too. So I you went never to do it Dallas. Again? I danced. It was a back in the gap, too. Auntie, done, I done lived a life. You want? Come on, you want? Pull up, bro. Dre, <laughs> stop playing. She, 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 she's tired of this story. Because I had enough of this story a, and of you. But it was a good time. You danced one time I and did. you swear you was a stripper. I was a stripper. For that one time, Dre. Damn, let me cook. And you? I'm trying to. People <laughs> like you are the problem. <laughs> what the fuck I do? I'm not a problem. Yeah, egging me on. Bro, do you know? You don't want to? Do I know what? Yo, drink the damn drink, bro. <laughs> Get the goddamn drink, bro. Come on, drink. No, pour me a shot. I don't. Don't pour it in my cup. Oh, my she God. Str- oh, and she drank a whole <laughs> shot. It's don't getting, pour It's a lot of stuff. Bro, we finished this bottle. It's getting too loud. It's getting crazy. <laughs> now I might need some. Food. It's getting what? <laughs> how loud is it? Hey, wait. hey, how loud is it getting? It's getting too loud. <laughs> I thought she was trying to say. I ain't even got to walk in with my I thought, I, thought, I thought she was trying to say, it's getting too loud. <laughs> All right, my bad, my bad. Two, it is I was trying to loud. have your back now. Yeah, I, yo, so let me ask you this. Oh, God. Well, not actually. You, you know what? You said that 14 times. Right, because I'm trying to. <laughs> let me ask you this. You know. We you making know it, nigga. We Y'all making me making work. Him get off topic. Y'all making me work. So look, you know what else has a, a stigma with it, though? Wait. As crazy as it may sound. Mm-hmm. And it might be worse than a stripper or, or a bottle girl or a bartender. Mm. Uh-oh. Guess what it is, if you can guess what job I it is. I can't guess. A nine to five. That's the, it's getting crazy out here. Stop I think, like I it know. Ain't. I think act people, like it. Nine I think to f- people that look people that work nine to fives look every way. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> this is what I'll say. People that work nine to fives, it's no like it's they not, look any way. Yeah, but like, I feel like it's been like, a stigma. Even if you say you have a job, right? It's Somebody BBL, can get, everybody has it's this, BBL girls that work nine to fives. It's who? BBL girls. Yes. I was That's a BBL girl working a nine to five. So right. What, what you gave it back? Huh? What, what? you mean? <laughs> I was I had a BBL and I was working a nine to five. You had one, and yeah. that's because you gave it backwards. My BBL. You took it off my job. <laughs> Hell no, I got another one. <laughs> <laughs> she said I was a BBL. I'm like, what the fuck? You took it off? No, I'm a but double, see, I'm a double had BBL. The right now. idea though. What? I said that's hustling backwards, but you had the right idea. I'm, I didn't hustle backwards because it, it wasn't about me. I was doing that for myself. I wasn't trying to. Oh, I'm gonna get a BBL. My life gonna change. No, I knew that. <laughs> bitch the fuck oh you knew you it was going to change what? no I she knew she my knew life wasn't about to change I mean it could change you get a BBO you can get a, a different type of nigga now I mean uh, yeah and I did get different type of niggas but it was just like oh. I was just having fun on a bigger scale but I was young I got my BBO when I was what 25 26 so so made you go back and get another one I just got it this year but it was more of like a corrective thing what does that mean? Um, I don't know what that I means. Just, I had to slim down. It was like a more of a slimming procedure. So you got the, the double BBL with the breast reduction? Okay, I did not get a double BBL. <laughs> bro, I don't I said know, I'm bro. a double BBL girl because I've gotten a BBL <laughs> So You said it, bro. You said this shit. No, he me. said you mad at me. You bro, said it. You got a double BBL with, with the I, breast reduction. Yeah, I got a breast reduction. <laughs> the double BBL is taking me out. <laughs> bro, she said... Just go get another one. But it <laughs> wasn't one. focused on the booty. Like, the second time, I just went and added a little more hip. I, like, you know, smooth some things out, you know. But I also, BBLs are not for weight loss, and I'm tired of the girls doing that. You can't go get a BBL if you're overweight. And um, I lost 30 pounds after my surgery, and it had nothing to do with my surgery. So I'm, like, more so I'm just trying to, like, slim down. And I like more so of the nice figure versus the small waist and the fat ass um that's like never the girl been a... you showed me or you try to show me because <laughs> that was not that's your a frame? nice I hope that's, that's not your frame right no she's not my friend you're not but about I, I you want to see her this clip say he talking about you yep. that's crazy i'm gonna say ladies don't support him 
Oh, that's wild. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm not going to do that. But she does have a small way. Drill. No, side. she don't. I cannot believe you. said I'm wet. I said you was on my side. Oh, yeah. Babe. Damn. And he was on your side, too. I didn't have no winners. I lost. <laughs> Damn. I'm going to take a he big He said she looked pretty. <laughs> she did not. Bro, she did okay, next time. The pit bull in right. the corner, he pregnant. <laughs> Yo, I'm so let me ask y'all. So can we, can we? <laughs> All right, we having too much fun, bro. Yo, we smoke that got serious. Oh, oh, we didn't even get serious. I tried to get serious. Oh. All right, so okay, so let me ask you a question. What? I'm gonna let you move on. What? Have you seen the Tyler Perry movie? Why did I get married? Do you remember at the end when Jill Scott found her new man and she was happy? She mm-hmm. said, "Oh, oh." I hope that's how I feel when I meet my. You remember when she found her new man? She was in the bathroom. That's not like bliss. Jill Scott loved her beautiful woman, but it was funny because they <laughs> added padding on her. And at the end of the movie, all they did was take the padding off and put a corset on her. Mm. And then she was like, oh. oh. He oh. loves I feel like me. T- I feel like Tyler Perry movies just be like First sad. of all, <laughs> okay. say what? Don't be sad. Sad. Okay, I was about to say, because I'm on the Tyler Perry street team, Because Sisters is my show. I love Tyler Perry. You know why I can't fuck with y'all, bro? Let me tell you why. Because y'all like, like, y'all like literally like on a break of like, my bad. Or like getting a deal, like a big, big deal. So y'all can't really say too much. So anybody I say anything about, y'all going to defend. Mm-hmm. Me, I ain't there yet. So I can t- I'm throwing shots at everybody. But you need to you think like you. You're going to throw a like shot you, at Tyler Perry? You who's think it's all the black people? You, you just said. Me, said, <laughs> <laughs> said giving back to the community. Everybody that works in Hollywood for real in Atlanta works for Tyler Perry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, What's the difference? Joke, I'm a, I, let me ask you this right I can now. Joke, do you Do you watch Game of Thrones? Or House of the Dragon? Yeah, I watch it. What's the difference between their storylines and Tyler Perry's storylines? Think about it! Think about it! Game of Thrones is way messier than Tyler Perry. They was, twins were fucking. Tyler Perry is not as bad of a menace as people try to make him seem. I never it's said he was work. a bad of I just said it was the, the shows were sad. Okay. And this you came out with a big fucking. gun. Watch your tone. Oh. You're talking about TP, baby. All I said was his, show, his movies shit. be sad, and she brought out a big one. I'm like bringing up TP, are you with me? Oh, I'm yeah. On, <laughs> I'm on that nigga's I'm street with team. TP. I, 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 when, when y'all signing the deal? <laughs> when it's coming. I'm huh? sorry, back to your question, though. You had a question. I forgot. Uh, so, okay, so I was going to ask y'all. Okay. Ladies in the industry, right? Mm. You just How, how long have you been talking to your, your, your guy friend? Mm. This ain't know. the situation. It's been since, uh, I would say about <laughs> March, April. March, April. That's not bad. I like March. So y'all yeah. being in the situation y'all in, right? How do you even differentiate who's taking you serious compared to who just wants you for the clout? Oh, I, Cause you know a nigga love a chick with some clout. Mm, but see, I don't date men that don't already have a name for themselves. Mm, I like to date somebody who got point. something to lose. Like I like to date niggas who got something to lose, and I like to date men that I can learn something from. Mm. I can't learn shit from a nigga who trying to get clout from me. Right. But how do you know though? Cause you can what tell. What you mean? I can't learn shit from you if you're dating me to get clout. But how do you know he dating you to get clout? You what can tell. How do I know? You can tell. You we went out. Energy. We went out with a nigga one time. Oh my god, he was so lame. Remember when we went and he just kept recording us? Yeah, he just kept. And he was us posting us on his Finsta. Kept posting us. He had bought First me. First of all, a nigga that got a Finsta fuck, is a red I never, flag. I never fucked him, but he took me to the Chanel. You got store. a Finsta? Cause you looked a little. Bro, if I had one, I'm not scared of none of y'all. Okay. I don't, you must not know that. If well, I had one, took, I would own he, it. He took me to the Chanel store and posted on his Finsta that he bought me a bag. So my homegirl was on his Finsta. She was like, oh, my God, he bought you a Chanel. I was like, how you know? Because I didn't even tell nobody. And he posted on his Finsta, lame. Very fucking lame. So, yeah, we be knowing if niggas, like, trying to. So, how can. All right, so, scratch that. Fuck that question. You got to say that you don't want somebody to come at you with the money talk. Mm-hmm. Right? You don't like that. No, I didn't say that. It's but you how, said it's, it's corny. not about what you say; it's how you say it. I didn't say that. She said it. Y'all said y'all might have been her. It no, wasn't me. We didn't say we don't like how you. It's not about what you say. It's the niggas how with you money say it. be the corniest because they they approach you like they got money. That's they they, they put yes, that first. 
Yes. Every nigga with money not corny though. I feel like you gotta Most know how to move. Are. Like I think Best you have corny. to know how to move with certain women. Me personally, money do not impress me at this point in my life. And I I'm very happy to say that on camera and let it be known. <laughs> like money don't impress me because I'm getting my own money, number one. Talk your shit. But I also been fucking with niggas with money. Right, but but that right. So that shit does not impress me. You have to have other things, other characteristics that attract me to you, other than the fact that you getting money. Because especially these days, a lot of people get money. Like who ain't? Get, I mean, I ain't gonna say who ain't. That ain't. Yeah, that's. That's me not stay in touch. Yeah, Come on, stay now. in touch. I gotta stay, stay in touch. touch. So let me not say who not getting money, but it's a lot of people that's getting money, and I feel like at this point, that's all I attract is men that are doing that well, well to do men that do well for themselves. I feel like at this point, you know what the most you gotta have I get personality. From in my DMs is I can't wait to get some money so I can have you. That's yeah. what the men say to me all the time. But that's the least thing that you need. That's the least. you need character. You need personality. Okay, you roll your you know, eyes. You know how many times oh, I've been brother. bored with a rich nigga, though? Boy, you remind me. <laughs> all I'm saying is. Uh, all I'm saying is, how do you. How pass, do you. Uh, all the girls be looking at you. Mm, and they you do. never heard that song? <laughs> <laughs> and they do. Boy, you remind me. Get the fuck out, bro. <laughs> Y'all get the fuck out of Y'all get the fuck out of here. Because why would she say that? Why would she say that? So why would she say that? Boy, and they do. You remind me. Remind me of my Gucci shoes. All right, listen. Fuck y'all. Listen. When y'all get in my fucking nerves. Hold it. All the girls be looking at you. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. I'm go sorry. ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> might take these fucking, uh, might, might take these shoes the fuck off. Get these bitches off. Okay, sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Get out of my mouth. <laughs> Yo, all right. So, can we have a? Yes. We ain't having a serious conversation. No, we can't. This is done. It's over. Ain't having no serious conversation. She said. No, we can't. She said. Ain't nobody trying to no. be serious. It's eight o'clock in the fucking morning. Let's get into. <laughs> let's get into some deep shit. Fuck action. <laughs> Fuck action 23. <laughs> Fuck action 23. There's a meeting in my bed, 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 bed. bedroom, 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 bedroom. So, girl, please don't be late. Late, 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 late. Step into me cause I wanna lay it down. She's, try, she's trying to flex down, on you, bro. Down, <laughs> she's trying to flex down. on you. Yo, don't, it's, down, not, down, down, she's, down. it's not a duet. She's trying to flex no. on you because you said you you. Oh, that she's was trying it. to flex on this you, bro. Was a, and honestly, you write that down. We got to sing that on the episode. She's trying to flex on you, bro. She literally. That was a duet. See, this is how you know. You don't listen to the show. Bro, you first of tell, all. You first, can tell the difference between a duet and a solo. Next. We beefed up. Why, why, why am I? Why, you know, there's two people in the world I don't like now. I don't like Mr. You Peanut, and I don't like Mr. J. Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is Mr. Peanut? You know, follow Mr. Peanut on Twitter is the worst person in the world. <laughs> no, nah, you the just made that yes. shit up. No, he's very terrible. He's like, should I wear Uggs today? You're a fucking peanut. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, seriously, I swear to God, he tweeted that today. He's like, should I wear Uggs? But let me ask you a question. Please don't. Why? Why do you follow Mr. Peanut? It be oh, popping yeah. up on my timeline as ads. Mm. So you follow the ad? No, the that doesn't make sense. Be, I eat a lot of nuts. Pause. Ain't so no when pause. I talk about nuts on my phone, Mr. Peanut just pops up, and that was he. What's I your favorite like type of peanut? My favorite type. So I just found some um, almonds, and they are the ghost pepper almonds. You don't eat almonds, bro. Yes, I do. I swear to God, they're ghost pepper almonds. They're flavored with the ghost peppers, and I like. So how do you make almond um, almond milk? You milk it. They got titties. I'll give you some. This is. I got an almond nipple now. I asked my doctor for an almond nipple. I'll give you some (sighs) almond milk right now. Yo, Dre, what's going on, bro? I have an almond shaped nipple. I chose, I'm not sure. I chose the shape of my nipple, literally. Bought, not built. <laughs> what that girl say, built, not bought? 
Yo. Plot not built. All right, so fuck it. I okay. try. I try to be serious. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, let's have a serious. Let's not, have a serious conversation. It's over. No, we can do it. Let's do it. I'm serious. We can do it. Can you add some music in the background? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 no, that's football music. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. Uh, it's done. It's no, over. we can do it. Let's go. We're no, ready. it's fine. How, how, how are you ladies feeling Good. in this stage of your life? How are you feeling? I feel great. I'm the baddest bitch. The, I'm the baddest bitch that and you've seen. And I got money. So, and, that's right, so, a, and that's a fire combination. No, so can I mean my pussy fire. That's what I heard. Oh, my God. This is getting crazy. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I heard. I never had it, but that's what I heard. So, <laughs> <laughs> how much does, let's be real. Like, so, you guys, like, so I, I feel like, I might not have heard your story, but you were more um, vocal with yours about like moving to Atlanta. Yeah, you know what I'm saying having to sleep on a um, hard couch. The the blow up bed. Oh yeah, month. them in my apartment. Yeah. Um, so like, it's it's a difference, right? We can't ignore the difference. Like from then to now, yeah. How much does money contribute to being in the best space? Honestly, be real. Um, I'll say this: I want to be comfortable. And I feel like the money has contributed as far as making me happier. I feel like I give the best content when I know like I'm good and I'm not stressed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So it definitely like I, I'm not going to say money makes me happy. Like because I'm, I'm going to be honest, I went through the hardest year of my life this year. I lost my mom this year and I had to make a decision three weeks after she passed. I'm like, am I going to fucking cry and be in bed all day or am I going to go on tour? Mm. And I decided to go on tour because I know that's what she want, would want me to do. So I feel like um, we can't sit up here and say money doesn't, you know, make life easier. Contribute to But it doesn't happy. make it perfect because I'm making the most money I've ever made in my life and I was probably the saddest that I have ever been this year was when we were in New York. I had a, a, a mental break. I was breaking fucking down. I was literally having an anxiety attack. Dre just so happened to be walking past my room. She knocked on my door and she comes in. She's like, I just heard you crying. And I just sat there and she just gave me a hug and we were just fucking like crying. And it's like on the outside looking in, they're like, oh my God, Lex P is on tour. She just did 700 at a New York venue in the middle of Times Square. You know what I'm saying? Like, she going on Breakfast Club in two days. I did my Breakfast Club interview two days after that. So, like, that New York run that we did was crazy, but I was breaking down and during we that did week. Hot 9, 7, we did Hot 9-7 yep. that week. We did um, Brilliant Idiot. We did Idiot. Brilliant Idiot. Yep. But I had a whole fucking breakdown. So, yeah, I'm starting to realize, like, you know, making more money makes your life, you know, easier in certain aspects, but better? Like... Money is money, right? Yeah. So you need money to to live a good life. I think you need money to, not to say to be happy, but you need money to live good. Like, right. cause you need money for everything. You need money to pay your rent. You need money to pay your car note. You need money to do leisure shit. Right. Like you need money, right? But I also agree with Lex when it comes to like, like I lost my dad two years ago, like, mm. and it was crazy because I lost my dad at literally, I think right before the show blew up. You did. I was like, my dad died. Well, we had went on 85 South, but it hadn't aired yet. And then my dad passed away. And then two months later, the episode aired. Me and Lex literally got like, a hundred thousand followers a piece. Damn. wait a piece yeah. in like two days on instagram or, or on instagram. instagram literally in like oh like two, in like three two days. three days like my dad passed away well we did like i said we did 85 south first it hadn't aired yet my dad died two months later the episode aired we got like hundred thousand followers a piece on social media and we started getting all of this traction all of this attention that's when 85 started talking to us about oh we think we want to sign y'all we want to work with y'all and it was like it should have been one of the happiest moments in my life but i had just lost my dad mm -hmm. i wasn't happy so i think money cannot buy happiness it, and you don't realize you have to until do you start really making money yeah because i used to be that person when i was broke i'm like y'all be saying y'all don't give a fuck give me the money 
And when you really start making money, you realize the real problems that go on. And not to make this a woe is me type of thing, but I feel like, too, you have to do the work. Mm. Because you could choose to, okay, I lost my dad. She lost her mom. Like, you could choose to, like, dwell on that and live in that. Or you could choose to, okay, unfortunately, this is a fucked up situation. I wish that I didn't have to go through this. There's other people who don't have to go through this. But this is my story. This is my path. Let me figure out what I need to do to heal from it. Yep. Mm. And, and, and I what, think that that's what we've both done. done. Like, it really helped me to kind of, like, focus on the tour. Because literally, two days after my mom's memorial, that's when we announced the tour. But can I ask y'all this, right? I feel like just making an observation, is it, or I'm going to ask you a question, is it easier to get the help when you are in a better space, right? Because you know when they say it rains, it pours. Yeah. Imagine if you wasn't, you didn't get 100,000 followers or or something positive didn't follow it. Do you Um, think it would have been easier to to really step up and walk in a path of getting help or... um, let me say this. I don't think that it's easier because I feel like if it was easier, it wouldn't be like multimillionaires committing That might be a sui- terrible word. Maybe committing not Committing suicide and stuff, right? Like, I don't think it's, I don't think it's easier. I just think it's, you have to tell yourself, like, I'm a person, the way I look at life is like this. I feel like fucked up shit gonna happen and good shit gonna happen. Mm. It's, as easily as good shit happen and I'm happy and I'm living in the moment, I got to know eventually something fucked up going to happen. Mm. But then even when something fucked up happens, something good going to happen again. It don't rain forever. Because that's the circle of life. Mm-hmm. It's a roller coaster. That's like a It's always going to be something good. It's going to be something bad. Like none of us are exempt from that, mm-hmm. right? That's a fact. And I think that you, in order to be a strong person with a strong mind, you have to have that mentality and you have to live your life like that. Like, it, like she said, it don't rain forever. Like this is fucked up. It's happening to me right now. But like... Next year, it's going to be a good year. Mm. Six months from now, it's going to be way better if I keep working, if I keep being consistent. Because that's really what life is. It's a marathon. Mm-hmm. It's, a it's not a race. It's a marathon. And even in a marathon, sometimes you can, you can stop and, and walk. Right, fact. A lot of people don't know if that. If you tired from running... You can walk. You can jog, that's or you can walk. You just gotta keep or you going. Can take, or you, you could even going. stop. That's you could fact. even stop for a minute, as long have a as water break, mm-hmm. as long as you finish. That's a fact. So that's, that's a, what but it's about. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like life is all about timing too, and this is how I know like God is real. Because I'm not gonna lie, if my mom would have passed away three years ago, I don't. I I can't you don't say think you would be here. I don't think I would have made it through it. I don't think. And Same. that's why. I, but that's that's why I say. Not, I'm not, I don't want to contribute to money, but I feel like sometimes when that helped us get out of the spaces that we came from. Right. And, and know, it, it wasn't the money. Tour saved my life. Mm. Literally saved my life. Mm. And when I say that, I mean like down to the point of the show saved my life just because our relationship she we had and like when she popped up at my house, like saved my life type mm. shit. So it was like, um... It, it, it's not about the money. It was just the more so of the position I was in. I was mm. in the position to be like, you know what? You're not going to sit in your room all day and be crying and be sad. Get up and do what your mom was telling you to like keep living. That's something that my mom always would say. You just got to keep living. Life is going to be hard. Just keep living. And tour really saved my life for real. Like it was kind of like if I wasn't in this position to be traveling and touching people, I had people coming up to me crying in their worst moments, like, oh my God, I'm depressed and I had I'm in the hospital getting surgery. I almost lost my life and I'm watching poor minds and it made me feel like I have something to literally live for. Yeah. And I'm like, your purpose is bigger. But isn't that the power of like God though? Yeah. <clears throat> you know That's what I think. Because yeah. even going back to my dad passing away, it was like it was so ironic to me that my dad passed away and it literally it seemed like simultaneously that's when the show started blowing up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think everything is God ordained mm. and everything happens in the time that it's supposed to happen. You know what I mean? And I feel like sometimes when people, we be thinking stuff is unfair, right? But I think everything happened when it's supposed to happen. Mm. You know, they and there's no rhyme or reason for it that we can come up with as right. humans because it just will never make sense to me. Like for me, I feel like I am the happiest I've been. I'm 
I'm making the most money I've ever made. I look the best I've ever looked. All of these things, right, right now at this current moment in my life. And it sucks. Even with us being on tour. Like, when we went to Houston, we had 750 people mm -hmm. at House of Blues in Houston. That's wild to me because I grew up in Houston. I went to concerts at House of Blues, and now we performing at House of Blues. Mm. It's unfair to me for my dad to not be there. Mm. You know? That's a moment I really really would have loved to experience with him. But everything happened for a reason. And you can't question God. And it's crazy because they always say, but not even the, like I was going to go into that. Everybody would say, why me? Mm. Right? But the question should be like, why not me? And, and not to be cliche. But I say that because it's so many other women out there. Not even people. I say women. So many other black women out there who have been through similar things. You guys have a platform to share these things. Right, and that's why I go back to like you guys are so multifaceted. It's so it's so much more to you than the sex talk, than the the guy versus girl bullshit that we talk about. That that it's so much more to that because what happens is, it's somebody out there who's going through that. Mm -hmm. You're losing your father, you're losing your mom, going through that right now, like right now, and they can see Lex and Dre, and it's like damn, they come to you crying like that's purpose. But, and that's what I was saying earlier, that's why I really, it sounds, like I said, it sounds so cliche, but I don't, I hate the word fan. I've always said that. I don't like the word fan. We like it supporters, supporters, listeners. Supporters, because you know what? That's our generation now. We all like yeah, supporters. But the, I hate fans. And, but the reason that I say that is just because, like, they I, they be like, oh, Lex got me through this. I'm like, y'all be not see not, not a refill. Can he get a refill? We got a look. You got that little cone. Let me pull you it's up. It's a little espalon. Nah, she said I'm drinking like an unk, so. Come on, unk. <laughs> Big unk couldn't hook. <laughs> but no, I'll say, like, I feel like a people. Give him a little juice. Damn, girl. You no, know, he need to drink it straight. He gonna I'm drink sure. it straight. Um, but no, what I was saying was, like, people, they look at us like, oh, Lex and Dre are getting <laughs> me through. But a lot of times, they were getting us through. Thanks. And it, it pushed me through because. Talk about it. Our Atlanta show. Oh my God! Do you remember what happened in the Atlanta show? Uh, it was the end of the show. I'm sorry. What? They probably would. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, anyways, it was the Atlanta show. It was the end of the show. I had made it through the show, and a girl walks up to the mic because we answer mm. questions at the end of the show. She walks up to the mic and she's like, "Oh, Lex, I love y'all so much, and I just want to give condolences about your mom passing." And I started having an anxiety attack on mm. stage because it was really recent. It like was, it was like a few weeks. Yeah, it was after. a few weeks after. So I had to walk backstage. I had a breakdown, and I had to walk back on stage. Like, mm. you know what I'm saying? But I looked out in the crowd and I'm like, "Look what the fuck you've done." Look what you've done. Okay, so I'm can like, I? So I'm about to get him out. In that in that moment, in that, in that moment, Lex, and I, I know you might give me some pushback for this. Why well, thought he said Lexi might give me some pussy for this? Because I might. <laughs> okay, too far. <laughs> he, we, said, he said, "Oh, for real?" I'm just kidding. Oh my god, you might give me some pushback for this. Pushback. Um, <laughs> we're yo, not good people. Y'all not good people. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry. What I was gonna say is, and. Like you sharing that, yeah. And we talk about this being grouped in a in a certain type of category. I feel like I gotta tread lightly. I mean, Those type of women that the world try to group y'all with mm. aren't able to articulate that in that manner. They aren't able to see that. Mm. And I feel like maybe y'all were that at twenty five, maybe. Right. Oh, we went through. You gotta think about it. When we started Poor Minds, you was okay. This was twenty. Well, when we started but let me, Wind Out, let me finish. Okay, go let me ahead. finish. Yeah. All I'm saying is, I feel like that should like because y'all you do display it on the podcast, mm -hmm. and every chance you get, I understand that everybody don't want to be serious all the time, but <clears throat> seeing that is it, it just means so much more because now you're not in that category, right? It's not oh she just want a nigga with money. Because we hear the purpose. We can see it. We can feel it. When I hear that, when I hear these stories, when I hear you speak, it's like, damn. It's like, damn. Purpose. This is somebody who's living in their purpose. But you know what it is, purpose. though? To be honest, I've never been in that category. 
people just didn't know me and they didn't take the time out to listen to my content, mm. to listen to what I've, I have been the same person my entire life. In high school, my sister got most beautiful and best dressed. You know what I got? Class clown. Mm. I've been the same girl since day one. This has always been me. It was just up to y'all to fucking listen. I don't feel and like I've been. to understand people, I'm sorry, but to understand that just because a girl looks a certain way, that's y'all being ignorant, not mm, me. I like that. It's it's not, I'm not doing nothing wrong because I can look like this and I can do X, Y, and Z. I'm mm. a person. I'm still a human. You just don't choose to listen to me because you can't, your brain doesn't know how to process that a woman can be beautiful and be a fucking human. Mm. So you you can't hold that against me because your brain don't function properly. Mm. I don't feel like I'm the same person. I feel like circumstances sh shape your mindset. I feel like the person that I was at, because I want to say we started, when we started Wind Down Wednesday, I was 27. <clears throat> now I'm 31. Mm. I'm not the same person. I'm a different person. I don't went through shit. Mm. Right. When I say the same person, I just mean like personal. losing at the my, core. Like losing yeah. my dad, yeah. losing my dad. I get with both of y'all. Relationship, yeah. no, for for sure. Losing my dad, relationship shit that I done been through. Um, becoming a businesswoman. Mm. All of these things have changed me. I'm not the same person. Like I'm a completely different person, mm -hmm. and that's okay too. Cause I feel like that's necessary. Like I feel like in life. The worst thing that I think black people do, and I say this for black people because I think this is a thing that's synonymous with us. You feel like when you become successful, you got to be the same person because that's keeping it real. <laughs> you got to be with your day. One. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm a real bitch. Like, I'm the same me. Like, I don't want to be the same. That's not good. I can't. If you ain't grown, I I'm not going to lie to you. I can't the same talk to me. a lot of people that I used to talk to before because... Mentally, you not on what I'm on. You calling me about shit that got posted on the shade room. I'm sorry, baby. I'm not worried about. That. I don't shit. even follow shade room. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hear that. But like we were talking about earlier, I'm sorry. I don't, I'm getting a little. But like you said about our relationship earlier, you was like, oh, well, people don't. But people don't realize this is a real fucking friendship. We've been at the lowest of the lows and the highest of the highs. Like I said. Not yet. You ain't been the highest of the high yet. I'm, Not the yeah, highest yeah. of the high yet. Some, so far. But the lowest of the lows. Yeah, y'all got, got some. But y'all got some more shit. Oh, Give yeah, yourself more credit. I'm, I'm saying trying. so far. I got you. I got you. Because like I said. That's me showing you we respect. Hit, the first lowest point was like she said when her dad passed. The Carlos changed our lives. When Carlos hit us up and when that episode dropped, we were grieving her father but also celebrating that a million eyes were looking at us, mm. and we were like, what the fuck are we going to do with this? Mm -hmm. So we had to handle her going through that and then dealing with our careers going to the next step. Mm. Then when my mom passed, it was another milestone in my career. We're starting a fucking tour. And it was yeah. like, we got to deal. We got to help me grieve. But you got to pick our, I got to pick my ass up. And she made sure every before every show. Dre always says the same thing for every show. And I don't even think you realize it. She'd be like, I got you. Mm. And That's I always funny. tell her that. I don't give a fuck. I always tell her that because when we get into it, I say, I don't give a fuck cry. what nobody think. I don't care what nobody say about me because I know she got me. I don't need anything else. I always yeah. say that. You know, people done fucked over me, done me wrong. She always says she's very protective of me. And I've been in the most vulnerable point in my life right now. And... I can always depend on her and my sister. Shout out to my sister Jazz, Killa, and my friend Lauren. It's just I have a solid circle. But Dre, how, how does that make you feel hearing that from your friend? No, it your makes sister? me emotional. Because I love Lex. Like, Lex is like, it's weird because it's like she older than me, but I feel like I'm like the big sister <laughs> because I'm so like, I'm stiff. Like, I, I just always been like that. Like, I'm a stiff ass bitch. I don't fuck with nobody. Because I see through people, mm -hmm. you know? And like, when energy don't be right, I see that shit. When she had people around her, that energy don't be right, I see that shit. And I be like, mm. Okay, girl, we'll do it. Do what you, but I'm, but I'm a supportive friend. If yeah. that makes sense, I feel like you got people who stiff and they gonna be like me, judgy me, and yeah, me. Yeah, she be like, I just be like, okay, she, girl. she she tell me and then she leave it alone. So what but, does that what does that mean for you guys that like 
I'm my sister's keeper, right? Having my sister's back. That's what I'm saying. Because you got to. I think that's important as women. I think women don't really... Going back to what you asked at the beginning of the show, like, women be jealous mm -hmm. of their friends. Me and Lex, we Never. love each other. Like, it's genuine. Like I said, I have one it's older no, sister. Even with, like... Oh, okay. So, it, and it's like, I don't like to shed light on these type of things just because I feel like it's negativity. Mm -hmm. But, like, even with, like, people in the comments, in our comments and stuff, mm -hmm. they'll be like, oh, Lex the funny one. This and this and this. So, then sometimes they'll say, Drea is more realistic. She's more of, like, um... A girlfriend or whatever because she she has a more logical mindset or whatever the case may be but it's like okay that's fine i might have a more logical mindset but lix not lix is not not a girlfriend she's not illogical right and then even with them saying oh she funny she this and she this like i'm funny too in my own way mm -hmm. i think that the most People important like thing is like can't coexist. And, and it's and and you can't all you can't be multifaceted. You can't be multiple things. Mm. Like Lex is funny as fuck. And out of the poor like out of poor minds, like the two of us, I think she's way funnier than me. But I think I definitely have my moments and it would be crazy for a person to say I'm not funny at all or I'm not a funny person. I think it would be crazy for somebody to say she not wifey material or she's not um, a girlfriend for the nigga that she supposed to be with. Like, but you know why a lot crazy. of podcasts don't work out though? It's because they listen to those comments and they start trying yeah. to veer in the other person's lane. You see what y'all ask me? Y'all, you seen the comments? And no. But that's what I'm saying. <laughs> no. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, we'll read the comments, <laughs> but we be laughing. Yeah. We'll laugh at them every now and then. We've stopped kind of. I ain't fucking with them comments. But I will say a I lot. I mean, say sometimes, sometimes your though, favorite I've... podcast has broke up because of the comments, and they trying to veer in that other person lane. I don't want to be looked at like the baddie wifey. I, I, I'm the funny one. I stay in my lane. She the, she the one, the, the, the girl that gets the gifts and the Stay in your. This is this is the dynamic. But you know you know why it's hard to stay in your lane. It's but not. Though. I'm gonna tell you why though. But not I want to hear it. Not for y'all. <laughs> People aren't confident. What happened is you can say that if somebody says Lex is the funny one, somebody can say that and you'd be okay with that because it's like I know I'm funny too. I don't have to prove to you that I'm funny. If you don't see it. Because people who watch the show know she's hilarious. You know Bitch, and, and I make people in real life laugh right. all the and time. Right, and, 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 like, and, and, and it's not even that. It's like it's like even if even if I wasn't though, right? Like it's like even if I wasn't funny. Oh, Why does it matter? Who gives a fuck? Like I feel like even with men, and it's crazy because you definitely see it with women. I want to ask you this mm -hmm. later, but I feel like later we running out of time. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. <laughs> This is real podcast energy. I'm saying. I told you I love potting now. I'm just saying. We'll we're the night. pot. We're the real potters. I'm we're dead. potting. This is we're potting, right? This but is. I say that to say, um, you know, a lot of people aren't able to be confident in themselves and be like, mm. you know what, you can be this and me too. Yeah, right. You can be whatever you want to be. But so I'm gonna just get to one now. Do y'all think that I hear a lot of ladies say, you know, men separate us? Mm. Me personally, we look at the rappers. I feel like a lot of women separate themselves. They do. Women From absolutely what? separate. Like in categories and groups. We talked about this with um finesse yesterday. Mm -hmm. Women want to be that finesse podcast? Oh, he came he on. He came ours. on poor mind. Which what oh finesse two times? No, finesse uh finesse's on finesse yeah, only my club. Guy. Yeah, it's my yeah guy. he I came on the him. show yesterday. We actually talked about this because women love to separate that. Oh, um, I got a nine to five. I'm not no Instagram model. Oh, I'm natural. I ain't got no BBL. Oh, I'm this. Women love to separate themselves when at the end of the day, none of that shit fucking matters. At the end of the day, ain't nobody married. Nobody, none of y'all got a ring. Bitch. But that doesn't even matter. Because even if you. What are, I'm saying that is, though, prize. I think. No, it is the prize. To be married? Yes. With each other? No. With to the be, girls? As a black woman, I think the prize is to be married. I think we were just talking about like women separate. I think you feel like as a black woman, the prize of your life is to be married. Yeah, You're you don't. Sick. No, I did not. I did not say I feel that way. Oh, what I'm telling you women. is I feel like that is what the prize is. For like, most black women. Yes, okay. I don't. Bitch, if I don't ever get married, I don't give a okay, fuck. Okay, that's what. Well, you don't care. Now. No. Wait, Clarify. you don't. You don't care about me. Okay, let me say this. Let me not say I don't give a fuck. Wait, because we can I'm, getting, oh, I'm not gonna get into. No, it. let's get into it. I'm 31. Let me not say I don't get into it. 
Or, mm, no, let me not. It's, it's cool. You let, let me, me not, I'm let me not say. Let, fuck it. let me not we say. Let me not say. I don't care, right? But if I don't get married, I will not feel like I failed at life. My okay. quality of but, life is not going to change. But, but you don't care I about do feel like no. As I get older, I, care I do about want a nigga. I do want a nigga to put a ring on it. You don't personally. Care about um, I won't say that I don't care, but the thing about it is. This is the thing about men, though. And let me get into it, and let me tell you why. Go ahead. Get into it. A man will leave a woman, or he'll cheat on a woman, and make and she'll feel like she wasn't good enough, or she's not, mm. she'll, she's less of a woman. And I don't like the fact that we use marriage as a standard of how good of a woman you are. We use that if you can have children or not, I, if I can't have a child, I'm not a woman or mm. I'm not a good enough of a woman. And I hate that because just get, guess what? If I'm 50 and I'm not married, that does not mean I'm not a good person or I'm not a good woman. Maybe I just didn't find my person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I hate the fact that people value themselves they as a person, being a good person based with marriage. In, on marriage. So, yes, would I like to get married? Of course. If it comes and it happens, cool. But if it doesn't, I'm not going to feel less about myself. So that's when, when I say I don't care about it. It's not like, oh, fuck it. Yes, of course I want to get married. But if I don't, it's not a it's not a rate of how good I am as a person. You're not measuring yourself. And I'm I hate when people myself. ask us that, too. Like, people be asked, like, they'll be like, oh, y'all don't have kids? Bitch, I don't have a kid. Not because I can't. I just don't got one yet. I haven't found a... I have not met a nigga that I felt like was hey, I got somebody I want. ovaries. Niggas is... <laughs> nigga. And just because just we ain't got kids don't mean we ain't been pregnant yet before. <laughs> Pause, 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 bitch. <laughs> R.I.P. Poor, poor minds. R.I.P. R.I.P. Yo, but you know what's funny, though? I mean, you know what's funny? I mean, it's not funny, but Dre, you know what's crazy? Wait. Maybe I should. Come on! You know, the sermon is real. Let me say that. The, the right sermon way. is real. And people do put themselves in fucked up positions leading with their emotions. Yes. Facts. So I'm going to make, I'm going to just lead as I'm gonna I'm I'm try to say that as right as possible so what happens is you not having a child don't it doesn't take nothing away from you mm. right because what happened is women I mean some some women not all women not all women sometimes when we get caught up in that feelings and emotion about somebody and they misjudge somebody and mm. they think somebody's gonna be there for them and then they find out that they're not mm -hmm. gonna be there for them too late mm -hmm. this is not all women not all women because some women make the decision on their own say I want to be a mother so I think the sermon is real. So it's it's nothing against not having a child. It's nothing against. And I want to be a mother, and I feel like I used did to. Did I say have... that right? Did I... Yeah, no, no, no you, you did. All right, cool. I was right. <laughs> no, you did. <laughs> but I'm saying I used I want to be a mother, and I feel like I used to have that mindset of like, oh well, I just want to be a mother. Mm -hmm. If I don't, if I get to a certain age and I'm not a mother, oh then, my god, I used to hate when you said that. Then I failed at life, right? Oh, yeah. But we used to be young, but, but like I, I wanted, I was one of them women who I wanted to have a baby before thirty so bad, but I had not met the right nigga, and now I just feel like. And I'm glad you didn't force it. Now I just feel like whenever it. I have my kid, I'm gonna have my kid with the most perfect nigga. Where we at? No, I am. I'm just saying. Your eyes were glistening. It oh, that's because that's that's good. And he's he doing something right. That's a good thing. It wasn't. No, I was just. You I was were, being you're funny. annoying. She's just doing that because she's. I can't wait. She's got out of her situation. I'm gonna have my kid with like a nigga that's a good dad. Yeah. Toast to that. Toast to, toast to that. I still got a little bit left. Y'all bullshit. And like I said, marriage is something important and sacred. Yes, but ladies, please listen, ladies. Stop putting your value on yourself on if you have a man or not, if you can or keep you a have man a or not, if you're married, if you have a kid, stop it. Stop doing that, okay? Because some of y'all be hating being moms, and that's what we going to leave out on. They do. They do. They don't be want to be nobody mama. They be mad. They be want to be in Dubai getting shitted on. Shitted on? Are you shitting me? What? Getting shit they, on. I went to Dubai and I did not get shit on. So don't do that. <laughs> people, that like, like, people like to get shit on? No, that's such a rumor. And you know what? I actually Wait, hate when people say that. What you mean? Like like actual shit? First of all, like, 
You no, I hate my... when people say whatever, but bitches wait. be in Dubai getting shit. Like though. a real, like, wait, 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 time out, time out. Can but we talk? a lot of bitches pause. don't be pause, out there pause, getting pause. shit They be getting that halal meat. Like, wait, they really want to get shit on or like that's a. No, they get shit on, allegedly. We talking about it like ain't a, alleged. A figure of speech, right? Or you're talking about like actually shit. Actual shit. I know someone that got shit on in Dubai. I don't know. I, I do. And I know a lot of girls that went to Dubai. Wait, they like what? What? What's <laughs> attractive about that? No, like two it girls, ain't one tra- cup. The money vibe? attractive. What are you talking about? Like two girls, one cup shit on. No, no, like the no, men will pay the shit on you. A nigga will pay. Like two girls, one cup. I don't know. That was no, because that was like two girls shitting in a cup and eating it. This is like a man sitting on a woman's chest and shitting on her. I don't know and about she, that. Imagine, a, imagine you shitting on a bitch nose. I mean, us shitting on a bitch chest, and she do this. <laughs> Ow, bitch! Sorry. So they, that's a real thing in Dubai. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. I really think like it's a rumor that's been taken too far. Because I never you know heard what? Of it. I went to Dubai and I had a grand time with a wonderful man. There, I was like, oh, he shit on. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. Now his. Beijing did fall off in the bed, and it was all over the walls and everywhere. Why was it on the wall? I don't because I was. I Cause think I was, was rubbing. Fucking, I think I was rubbing his head. It was fucking in the bed. Yeah, I, I think I was like rubbing his head, and then I like put my hand on the wall, and I was like, "Oh my god, it was the wall last night." And I kept waking up like, "Why is my makeup everywhere?" And why is it black? Because I don't wear a lot of eyeliner. So Come to find out it was his hairline. The Beijing was on the wall. Your makeup was on the wall. No, it wasn't my makeup. It was all his Beijing. Because I don't wear a lot of makeup anyway. And it's hot in Dubai. So I wasn't wearing makeup. Come to find out it was his Beijing. But. So would y'all let a nigga shit on you for for the right amount? No. We are. A nigga not never shitting on me. Would you let a nigga piss on you for the right amount? No. (laughs) Would you let a woman shit on you for 50 million? Let me ask. is a little different. Are we in the shower? Because then it can be washed. Can I ask you a I question? I mean, it, it's going to feel the same. It's another jig. Let me ask him what I asked you the other day on our show. Would you let a woman shit on you for $50 million? For $50 million? $50 million. What do you think my answer going to be? Would you put it in your mouth? No. Mm. $50 million? You wouldn't do a little? No. You wouldn't do this? Fit- Wait. I'm not doing that. $50 million? Nothing. <laughs> you wouldn't go like that? Fifty million for sh- for for fifty million. No, you gotta do this. Sh- no, no, no. He don't gotta That's do this. Different. He gotta do this. That's different. Okay, so she shit on your chest. You would go like this. I'm not putting my finger in my mouth and sucking nothing for okay. fifty mil. That's degrading. It's, you gotta have, you gotta stand. It's for not on camera. Nobody on gonna it. know. Nobody gonna know but you. Mm. Nobody <laughs> gonna know but you and her. But guess what? My answer is on no, camera. That mean you would do it. <laughs> what you mean? No. I said, what if it got a little corn on it? He said, <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> you going? You going to eat the corn? For the fifty mil? I don't. I don't eat Chipotle a few times. You know, y'all know. Everybody in this room know corn be in the. Uh, First of it all, don't digest. fifty million dollars. You wouldn't let somebody shit. So are you? Head. Are you going to eat the shit? I'm for asking 50 million? you a question. <laughs> We I already doing, talked about this. I ain't doing all that, bitch. This is my show. No, I but we answered. I ain't doing all. Of, I ain't doing all the mouth shit. But you would let somebody shit on your chest for fifty million? A woman. A woman. Shit yeah, on my it's chest. warm. Am I like laying down? Yeah, you're laying down. What if it's watery? Sliding. What if it's like the? It don't uh, matter. We didn't. We not getting into that, <laughs> Drea. Me, me. A woman. Million. Fifty mil. Me, you, and a woman. Hmm. Fifty mil. I mean, I'll Boy, probably be close to letting her let her do it. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. I don't give a fuck. I mean, it's real. You will let her shit well. on your chest? That's in your mouth? Wait. I ain't say all that. Okay, bro. Dryer. That's I ain't it. say no she, hand you know movement. She push I ain't put my up. finger in my mouth doing all that weird shit. But a woman? Shit on me? My chest? That's kind of crazy. Would you eat the corn? I ain't okay. eating. Okay. I ain't eating nothing. <laughs> I ain't eating nothing. Fifty million? Can we change the subject? I'm disgusted. Is y'all letting somebody shit on you fifty million? 50 mil, I'm going. Are you shitting me? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, I'm, yeah, I'm definitely letting somebody shit on me for 50 mil. I ain't mil? 50 mil is Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> as long as I ain't got to eat it. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Saying. Me, I it's lie. not on like, camera. Nobody yeah. gonna it's know. It's crazy for me because I'm a man. I look at it differently. All I'm like, saying is, take my family. Dre, are we up? Where like, we about to go? You want to go shopping? Much, if you got fifty, if M's, I got fifty, if how I got fifty, you give me. But you see, if I got fifty M's, I'm handing you over. I'm gonna hand you over a smooth ten. But you know, 
Let that nigga shit. But on you know, you. you know, it's crazy. Come on, nigga, push. It's, you know, it's crazy because <laughs> push it out, push that shit out of me. You know, it's crazy because like y'all, y'all answer is different. Like you was like, we going shopping. I'm like, I'm trying. I'm taking my family, my family, family. Like that's what I'm thinking. about. I don't got like, a lot of family. I got my sister. I fuck around off myself after. Like fuck it. But my family good. <gasps> oh, you yeah. are off yourself. You stupid. Somebody Go enjoy shit. your money. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. All I, I know. Say is Drea. I came up on a lick. What, what we doing? We I know. I got to live with that. I'm so... If Lex called me and said, I'm about to wire you 10 M tomorrow, you she think gonna I'm like, going to ask questions? She going to, bitch. Next thing you know, you getting locked up for the Rico. <laughs> <laughs> you tripping. I ask no questions. But I would, she know I would never put her in no position on no weird Bad. shit. Until it's time to put her in a position on some weird shit. It's on some like, I did Legit. what needed to be done. And you not going to go to jail, bitch. We outside. Bet, fuck it. And I send my mom, and I wire my mom. Cheers to all the bullshit. The next day. Cheers to the bullshit. This was a, this was a good episode. Thank you, man. Hey, we oh man, Dre, Lex P, poor minds. I don't got nothing else to pour. Wait, can we we gotta give our where they can find? Oh, uh, take a little. Uh, what's that called? The bamboo. I'm bamboo. Um, so you can find us on Instagram at poor underscore minds. That's P O U R underscore M I N D S. On YouTube, it's poor minds. Uh. Yeah, you, that's where you can find us at. Poor Minds with three E's on Instagram. Yes. Lex underscore P underscore. All on things Instagram. Poor Minds will be poorminds.com. Merch drop in by poorminds.com. Oh, and I got a lip gloss on. Lip gloss line yeah. is out right now, and we both got that shit on right now. Muse Beauty Collection dot com at Muse Beauty. Yeah. No, this is my shit. That's shit. Oh, all right. At Muse Beauty, M U S E B E A U T Y. Is that what? Collection.com. They're going to find Wah-wah. it. Wawa. Dre, okay. you going to follow me back? Wawa. Dre, you follow him back you before we get off here so they can, they can be witness. So, J Hill, J Hill Podcast. I appreciate y'all. Dre, Lex P, J Hill Podcast. Dre and Nicole, nigga. Why Dre you going to be saying my whole name? I'm sorry. I thought it was Dre. I'm sorry. Dre and Nicole. Um, J Hill Podcast is right. We out.